Hello, good evening, Shri Ram here. Good evening, Shri Ram. Hey guys, good to see you all again on a Sunday evening. Hi, good evening, Shri Ram. Good evening, Shri Ram. Good evening, Shri Ram. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Okay. I uh, hope it's good now. I was seeing some lagness in uh, the part of uh, video transmission. I believe it's good now. Uh, let me quickly set out the platform. Just a minute. Yep, all good there. Okay, I can see a good evening coming up. Yes, people are putting in the chat window. Good there. Good there to see most of you I'm back here. And um, yep, <clears throat> quickly take a look of the names around here. Okay, Habjit, Aishwarya, Akshay, Anu, Shanti, Ashwin, uh, Brunet is there, Hemant is there, uh, Bhaskar, Shama, Lekha, Mahendran, Mohan, Ojinder, Pavan, Prabhu, Prashant, Rajiv. Okay, very good. good. Samya, Shivam, Sudek, Sujit, Gopal, Krishan. Very good. Okay, good amount of people there. I can see everyone around there. And uh, once again, uh, thanks for joining this program. And we have the second day of a learning process. So let's move forward. I can see more people are joining in. Welcome everyone here, come there. I think it will take 10 minutes for people to settle down uh, as we do as a process. Just settle down first. Uh, keep your mic and camera on a mute mode. We may need it a little later, not now. Uh, you can keep yourself in mute and stay there and listen for a while. And that's what we're going to do here. And uh, first of all, good wishes to the people who were in the uh, WhatsApp group. And I saw a lot amount of contribution there. Uh, I think we spoke about some sort of doing assignments. And I'm so amazed the way you all written there. I can see a lot of colors happening, a lot of um, the design was going really well. New creative thought process coming up. Maybe a couple of them I would like to uh, listen. Uh, how do you feel writing this? Uh, is that a painful process? or is that giving some advantage for you? Anybody here would like to say that? Hey, how was assignment things happened for you today? Assignment was good. Uh, Akshay here, hi everyone. And uh, uh, I, ha I have written uh, all this so five process groups and 10 knowledge areas in on my whiteboard so that whenever I walk through that area, I can just uh, give a look and I can recollect everything. Okay, that is, that's pretty interesting. Uh, thanks for the efforts, actually. I know that it's not only you know, uh, one person to say. I was seeing all your hard work. It was looking so pretty cool. Uh, in fact, uh, some of them, I believe, were able to see the screen. Um, where I was, uh, I'm sharing the screen here. Okay, if you see the screen here, uh, you can see the way people have written out. Right, they've done a lot of stuff, and uh, some of them are very creative. Okay, by the way, these images I pulled out from your uh, WhatsApp group, and I can see some marking up as uh, five process groups here very clearly, right? That's good. Uh, and the color pencils have been used very well. I can see that. Good work, good work. Good, look at here, now one page they're able to accommodate all. Okay, that's good, that's great. Uh, this I was trying to understand, later I found that it is a 49 process sheet, the person was trying to write down, but some mistake happened, the camera went upside down. Right, so but still, it's a good one. I was able to see that, and here I found one thing interesting. I'm not sure who's this one is, and I can see the May 24th date is here. So, they made sure that they are following the diary system. And uh, kudos to the person who did this job. So, you have a date, right? When I'm doing this, of course, you can also write a date, but so it's also a good job. I like that. Uh, this looks pretty cool with the colors, and right, a lot of rainbows flowing through, all right. So look at the shade, huh? some artist work has happened there. Great, good efforts, good efforts, I appreciate it. And look at this, this I like it. Some science student, I can make it out, the way they have drawn it very clearly. That's good there. Good, a uh, lot of stuff and a lot of work here. Great, great efforts, 
good efforts, all your efforts. Maybe some of your pictures I didn't catch up today. Maybe last minute I would have missed it. A uh, lot of colors. By the way, did you have a fight with your children to get this color pencils? Anybody had any trouble getting that? Okay, okay, good. Good, good. I'm just running through your slides. Good then. And there is one person who's written the 49 process sheet. Of course, it was uh, going to be the process going forward. We from Monday will start it, but I can see one person little advance has started it. Good job there. And uh, if not, I can see a lot of them used colors. Here I found interesting factor. Um, the, the person has written all the stuff. And finally, marked as a C constraints and marked all these items as constraints. So kind of uh, learning has happened while writing the um, sheet here. So good job. Uh, overall, I felt so happy the way it's written down right there. Good. Thanks all for putting this hard work and effort. Okay, I'm just looking at the chat window. We can save for later always. Yes, it is good, Diana Priya, that's right. And by the way, uh, as I said there, how you guys manage to get the colored stuff? Uh, because I thought uh, some of you are away from this pencil paper for a while. Uh, I thought it would be a tough job to get that accessories and start writing. Uh, that too with the lockout, lockdown season, you may not find these stores easily available. But I'm so surprised to see a lot of colors happening, a lot of ways of happening. I'm so surprised this time uh, because usually I share these images and it will be the same black and white format. But this time I'm seeing more colors happening. Uh, okay, I'm seeing one. Mahendra says that as I had a bit of argument to get this color box. <laughs> Okay, Satyanaran says, I borrowed it from my wife. She does some artwork. That's great. <clears throat> Ramya says, I'm not a WhatsApp group, so don't know what's happening. Oh, Ramya, I think you're missing out. Uh, team, please help Ramya to be part of the WhatsApp group. Yeah, yeah Ramya, I will be included. You. No problem. Uh, every registered people uh, should be part of the WhatsApp group. If you're not in the WhatsApp group, please uh, let us know. We'll work it out, right? Uh, Abhijit says kids school opened. Okay, so you got the pencil paper there. Very good. Good. Uh, I ran through some of the images. I'm going to keep a watch on that and uh, it's, a, it's a flow which we do. Um, so we do uh, the process of uh, watching out what you're doing, how you're doing. That's very important. And this activity, I'll tell you, it's not easy. Why? Because uh, you may be touching a paper pencil after years and sometimes you feel a little shy also. Oh my goodness, do I need to do this? And sometimes your kids or your spouse make a fun of you. Oh God, somebody's finally writing some homework. Right? So I understand that. And also some of you from different time zone. Uh, I have posted this picture a bit late in the day because uh, I had some other tasks. I couldn't do that. I was started a little late day. And this would have put some of you who are just sleeping by the time. It is a mid of night in uh, part of North America. You would have missed it. So don't worry about it. See, anyway, the Saturday, Sunday looks so tight and packed. Mondays, I usually give the assignments. So you have enough time to do for the whole five days and you come back on Saturday, Sunday. So this is the format we do. For some of you open up the WhatsApp, it will be of 300 messages. You'll be surprised what's happening here, man. I just went to take bath and come back. Meantime, 200 messages here. What's happening? I can't follow anything. Yeah, this is how it will be. And after one or two weeks, it will settle down. So don't get panic about it. And again, uh, questions flowing in on the day of first and second, third day, it will be a little high because of uh, people won't understand more on the beginning of the session. At the same time, as the days progress, you will get more clarity and there'll be more of listening more than of more of uh, coming up with of some of the questions, right? Questions are welcome, but questions will slow down as you move forward. If anybody worried here, oh my goodness, a lot of questions coming up. And it's dragging the time. Don't think that way. First two days or first two weeks, it will be a little high and it will start dropping up. So that's the nature of the program. So you can just stay there and watch out. Right? That's the thing. Good. Uh, with that, uh, I have a good set of people around here. And um, once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening for the people here. And it's 7.30 p.m. IST. And uh, this program is going to go till 10 p.m. IST. That's a plan here. So what are we going to cover here? We may have uh, one to one and a half hours of uh, knowledge sharing where I'm going to give a lot of topics and explanation. And uh, that's again the basis of project management. What I'm explaining here comes as the first three chapters of your PMBOK, Rita, Headfirst books. 
in this book's so first three chapters talks about basics like yesterday whatever we spoke about it, the same will come up in the first three chapters i'm explaining that few questions will come there in the examination the rest all will be from the chapter number four right i'll show what it is a little later but for chapter number four you'll get some sort of content so now uh, what is the game here today it's going to be two and a half hours uh, usually sunday we don't push much because monday people have to catch up with the work so we give limited amount of time for the session two and a half hours <clears throat> in this what are we going to do here we're going to take some classes on subject and uh, by 8 45 we're expecting one of uh, the person who cleared pmp recently she was able to get about or get in all the five and she's there to help us for five to ten minutes explain about her exam experience so if you have any questions you can shoot up to her she may come sometime we're expecting her and post that uh, by 9 p.m ist after the break or 9 5 9 10 we will start a workshop it may go for 35 40 minutes workshop in this workshop you're going to work out on a project a simulated project and you're going to do some activity this is to understand how much you are able to get up the knowledge that's a flow we are going to try now right that's a very important thing so with this we are going to start the program can i get a yes from most of you saying that let's get in fantastic right there right there superb superb thank you thanks for the messages let's proceed and get inside so what i will start is I'll just start with some stuff uh, with the whiteboard. Uh, I just want to give some facts. I I'm sure you would have seen a screen I just played a few minutes back. There was a picture. I was showing this picture, telling that life begins at the end of your comfort zone. I used to read this as a poster, keeping in my desktop. I don't want to put it only in the desktop. I want to do that in personal life as well. If you ask my early days of a college or post college or my first job or second job, I felt that, okay, life is for fun. Yeah, it is. I'm not saying no, but at, po at one point, we have to realize that we have to come out of the comfort zone. The comfort zone may be your corporate life, a comfort zone may be the personal life, what you lead. Hey, this is what the dress I will wear. This is what the food I will eat. This is how I will speak. This is how I will sleep. Okay, some categories are there. Nothing wrong in it, but if it is not allowing you to grow further, then we have to relook at this. I seriously did this at um, when I started preparing for PMP. Alter PMP is my uh, landmark change. Totally changed the way I was looking. So now what happened is uh, I I was looking at the way how to prepare for PMP. I started the reading subject from head first PMP. To be honest, I read only head first PMP book. I didn't read any other book. By the time I don't have this much of knowledge of information, what to read, how to read, all the things on there. Kind of dumb, okay? It's my mistake. Market had it, but I didn't learn it. So I started reading. What I do is in the morning, I will try to read 30 minutes, but only five minutes, my mind would have read. 30 minutes, mouth would have read. Two differences there, right? Mind reading and mouth reading. In mouth, you keep reading, nothing goes to the mind. The hard disk doesn't store anything. Now, what happened is 30 minutes I'll read, uh, but actually I would have started the day by sometime 6, 6, 37, and I read 30 minutes, go to office, uh, driving on and off from to office, uh, be there in office, do office work, or talk gossip in office, political factors, have fun, come back, watch television for two hours, and then again 30 minutes or 40 minutes I'll read and sleep. This pattern I followed for two weeks. End of second week, I want to see where I am. I not even moved four to five pages. If you ask me the four or five pages, did you remember? Zero. <laughs> then I looked, the book is so big, lot of content. I felt, man, this is not the way I'm going to move. If I do this, it will take five years to complete PMP. By the time new syllabus will come. Now, what I decided is, first I want to take an inventory of myself, what I do from morning to night. It's a very honest inventory what I'm doing. I took three days to write this inventory of in a white paper every day, morning wake up till night. In that, what I found is I spend most of my time talking about somebody or someone in the world, not about what I want to do. I keep talking about somebody. Could be a politics, could be about the country, could be about the cinema. In India, we talk more about cinema, right? And we were talking about that. And I come back home, I watch two hours uh, Discovery National Geography Channel. I thought I'm learning. I'm learning. 
nothing zero so that gone this gone and i sleep late 12 o'clock and wake up by 7 7 30 i go to gym and exercise for one hour pattern was good but it is not showing any improvement for me so then i found i should come out of the comfort zone so this is a comfort zone i'm living in a life i'm in a good company fortune 12 company getting a good package as a project manager my life is good nothing to worry i had everything in my life but something says to me hey shriram this is not this is not your meant for you have to go something different and this thought started coming up then i realized that the pattern what i'm following has to be changed just reading alone will not make you a great leader or manager i thought i would change a pattern so what I did is the first thing I said, I'm coming out of television. So I stopped watching television in 2016. It's almost four years. I have not seen television. It was a biggest sacrifice because I'm a good addict of watching Hollywood movies and uh, the Discovery Channel programs. This I watch like crazy and a lot of comedies I'll watch. I stopped everything. It took one week to digest and come out of it. By stopping television, I was able to save per day, one and a half to two hours watching time and one hour of lingering time, it runs in my mind. The moment you watch a program and you come out of the program, it will stay in your brain for at least 30 to 40 minutes. In the night, if you watch something in a television or a movie and you go for brushing in the night, your brain will start recording the events. The brain will process it for a while. It doesn't allow you to get the new data. It will block the way. So I start for two hours. So I save two and a half hours every day. That's the biggest savings I did. And from that point till now, I'm telling you, every day I get solid two and a half, three hours, which I can spend with my family. I can enable myself for reading purpose. In this group, I know that many of you don't have television and many of you are on that track, right? Do some of you agree that without television, you feel good? You have a good time there? Just get a word of people from here. It would feel that it's worth it staying without television. Okay, I'm getting a couple of A's there. Yeah, yes, I've not watched television for the last five years. Somebody says, no, I stopped watching two years back. I don't have a TV. Great. I know many of you doing that. Great there. Great there. I know some of you have don't have option to decide. I see Satya, you know, I can't decide. <laughs> I know we have kids at home, spouse want to watch it, or you yourself have an interest to it. I'm not saying against the television, but what's happening is the world and news and the world advertisement is pushed on you. World, whatever happens is advertisement. <clears throat> Politics is an advertisement. Uh, product selling is an advertisement. They keep on injecting something in our mind. Without uh, knowing or unknowingly, you get addicted to that. So why I want to tell this is, we have to come out of this to think on our own. Then only you will be in the history. If not, you ought to keep watch only the history channel. right? And uh, how do I came to this conclusion is, I started reading some books. In this books, there was some discussion talking about it. We could you talk this and go for the subject. I just put this part like this. Uh, I used to always tell that there is something called uh, 20%, 2%. If somebody aware of the Pareto rule, the Pareto rule says that there is something called 80 20 principle. Okay, I'll go by that. In the world, we have people of 80% and the people of 20%. Okay, let's divide by number. This 80% of the population believe life is as it is. What do you mean by as it is? Uh, they live, uh, they have food, uh, they, they, they just live the life. Nothing much big there. They're happy. They sleep well, they're happy. And one fine time they get their partner, they reproduce and then make their uh, reproduced um, children to come up really well. And one day they die. Okay, death comes out. For everybody death comes out. For them also comes out. This is 80%. And these people too much are worried about politics. Too much are worried about the sports activities, what's happening in the world. Very good. They can do that. Uh, some people are more worried on movies. Okay. okay. These are the people who keep talking about this continuously every day. They watch papers, televisions, tea shop, um, bar, everywhere they keep talking about it. They keep on talking about stuff. They are happy about it, but they don't see any growth in their life. They're in the same status. There are some set of people who try to escape from this. From this uh, 80%, there is a set of people who think that, hey guys, why don't I become uh, some different person? The different person is called top 20%. And this set of people also go for the same food and life, but they start learning. <coughs> 
they learn from their mistakes. They learn their uh, way they work. They learn their life. <clears throat> no need to be an IM, MBA, no need to be Harvard University. Anything, they learn. They learn what they have to do. They start enhancing themselves. They come out of these kind of distractions, which is called as politics, sports, movies, or some sort of distractions. These people are so much of distracted. Men have their own distraction. Women have their own distraction. Now, how to come out of that? It's up to you. You have to decide. I'll tell you in this group, everybody does some mistake every week. And after you do that, you feel shucks, man, I should have done that. Next time I won't do it. You will wait for two, three days. Fourth day, the monkey will slowly come out and ask one more time, shall I do it? He will do it again. Again, you will say, shucks, man, I shouldn't do that. This is a common pattern happening in human life. How many of you agree that you have that monkey coming out and say, let's do one more time? Anybody here? If it's only me or somebody else also there? Oh, many say yes, yes. Okay. So, yeah, I know some of you. Some of you, yeah. Thanks for being very honest here. Yeah. I appreciate your honesty there. Right. It's not only um, <laughs> Jake's monkey. Okay. Okay. True. It's not only me alone. Right. It's all you. I, I'm also doing the same process. Right. The monkey comes out. Maybe for me, three weeks once it comes out. <laughs> that's a difference. So how long you procrastinate? How long you push this monkey away? That's a better thing. Right. So I'm not saying you cannot stay away. If you do that, you become a saint. It's so hard. But still, at least <clears throat> how long you push it out? Man, push it out. Right. That's very important. So now, uh, when you read this stuff about um, being 80% and 20%, I found you all coming for this PMP classes online, you fall in this category of 20% because you are having a thought process of learning, you are having a thought process of growing. See, you are not sitting in this class just for PMP. Something pushing you for the last two, three years, something pushing you last three months is saying to you, hey, you are not meant for it. You have to do something more, something more. That is why you are here. You are not here just to pay the money set for PMP. Something is said to you. You are listening to the instinct. That's why you are top 20%. I am coming out from the psychology mindset. And I'm not talking only with the 20 and 80%. There is one more category top of this. I always refer them as top 2%. Top 2%. Okay, this top 2% are the category of the people who learned and started excelling in that. Excelling. You go to sports, Ronaldo is the top most. Sachin, Dhoni, you talk about in music, Michael Jackson will stand there. Politicians, there are top politicians in the world. And you go for business people, top business people, share market, top guys. And you go for a social service, Anna Teresa will come in the top. She's a top 2%. Mahatma Gandhi, top 2%. Nelson Mandela, top 2%. These are top two percent people whom you can admire them and they are called as leaders in their field they too started like us in 80 percent they went to 20 percent then they become top two percent right don't think they just came from the sky and become top two percent no mahatma to become mahatma at the age of 45 and 50 when he realized it it took time but he was the, he had a digestion period of 15 years to understand his concepts that's important so don't think to do overnight will make a big person. No, you cannot. It will take time. But why I put all this stuff here is you are in the right course. And now you have to start realizing that you are in the right place to move. By the way, all these numbers, nowhere in any books. After reading a few books, I have concluded some numbers and I have put some thought process here. So if you disagree with this number, fine, you can disagree. It's only my thought. I thought there is a division of people. 80 live like this. 20 live like that. 2 live like this. It's my thought, so don't refer to any books here. It's a general concept, okay? So point here is, uh, start realizing this. Um, um, that's that's a very important thing. So somebody says, oh, now I realize the top 2%, what's the meaning? <laughs> so what I mean is top 2% is they start showing the consistency and interest in their life growth, in their life growth. When you are good, your spouse will be good. When you are good, your kids will be good. When you are good, your friends will be good. Make yourself healthy and wealthy. I put healthy as first, wealthy as second. Do good exercise, eat good food, sleep properly, exercise for a few minutes, right? So next week when I start the session, I will start with a few factors about the top 2%, how these people live the life, because that is very important. We know how these people live. We know how these people also live. We have to know how these people live. I'll tell this next week. That will help you more. With this philosophy, let's move on. Already some people feel, oh man, too much of content. Okay, good then. Let's go. Hope that's helpful for you before I go to the subject. Uh, 
Where is the slide there? Okay, good. So here we are. Okay, um, quickly, what are the things we covered yesterday? We touched a few factors like um, getting to the basics of a project management, we tied it. We're gonna to touch a few more on that same area. So how do you do that? Uh, quickly, before I go there, let me confirm. I have a bunch of people here. Everybody able to hear me, see me, and see the screen? Three things are good for you. Fantastic, fantastic. Great there, very good. I'm very three yes. That's good, three yes. Very good, good, let's move. Um, I will stop some uh, annotation. I can see some annotation coming up. Stopping you. Good, good. Let me set the ground annotation, clear it off. Very good. Clear all drawings. Very good, very good. Fantastic, let's move. So yesterday we saw some factors, PNP, I set the ground factors. If anybody missed yesterday, this is a program on the left side. We saw about hours, break, all we discussed. On the right side, I asked certain factors. I believe most of you did it very well. And keep smiling while listening. <laughs> it's not easy while listening, but try smiling. You look good, pretty while you smile. And the last one goes like uh, discussion and breakouts. This is what you're gonna do, this is a pattern. And yesterday I was uh, trying to touch the chapter on the package one. Sriram, package one itself, we have not crossed. Oh my goodness. If you feel that way, don't worry. As I said, there is a learning curve. The first two weeks, it will go slow and the momentum will start. So we are still here. And next week, we'll start from here to here. We'll move on, then we'll move on. I'll start balancing the things. Certain things will start spill over. Certain things will go in the order. That's how we're going to do. And then we have package four, package five, package six. We learned this. Right, we saw PMP, PMI Institute, goals. I want to reset the goals here, be very clear on the goals. Um, I, I love setting goals and I want you to set the goals. Have a date for yourself, have date for yourself, right? Some date, fix it up. And then the rest of the factors on your way, please do that, we spoke about it. You can relook at the videos, the videos are shared to you. Okay, good there, good there, good there, good there. We saw some basic factors. We spoke about talent triangle, yeah, we spoke about it. Interpersonal skills, yes, we went a little deep inside. And we saw the certificates, we saw five process groups, and we also understood 10 knowledge areas. This is what requested to write. Most of you did it perfectly, I appreciate it. And I showed 49 process sheet. I didn't do it to go deep inside. I want to do a little later because it takes time to digest it. It'll take time, right? Um, okay, um, there is uh, someone asking, Priya is asking, you didn't tell about the boss and leader picture. Which uh, part is that, Priya? Maybe I want to go back to you. Which one you're talking about? I uh, hope you're talking about uh, the uh, process of, uh, I'm sorry. If you're talking about in a talent triangle, I think we spoke about the leadership, which needs interpersonal skills. You, you are talking about that, Priya, if I'm not wrong. The boss and leader. Yeah, I think we spoke about that topic, which talks about interpersonal skills. That's related to that. I came to the next slide. The next slide, we have interpersonal skills. I was talking about the communication, influential abilities, right? That's what point it is. Hope you can turn now. Good then. Uh, now, what I want to do is uh, the Fortnite process sheet. We spoke about it. Um, as I want to tell you, this is an area which needs more focus going forward. From Monday, this will be your assignment. You will write this sheet. You will reproduce this sheet. Now, I'll repeat this easily to make it call. Uh, there are five process groups and 10 knowledge areas. This is how it works. Okay, good. Then what's happening? So we have 49 processes to make it happen. What is this process? Some of you know, some of you don't know, but I will explain it a little later. For now, let's stay on the track of five and 10. And there are 49. These are three numbers you will work out for your examination. Five, 10, 49. Okay, that's all you can do. And quickly, somebody can ask me the question, Shiram, why this is starting from four? If anybody wants that question to be answered, the first three chapters talks about the basics which I'm talking today. And from the fourth chapter, the integration management starts. Fifth chapter, sixth chapter, this is how the book will proceed. Any book in PMP, this is how it proceed. So uh, you will get this as a chapter four. Chapter four, you will get all this item, all this item. 
uh, hardly 40 pages will be there. You will read it. And then you will take chapter 5. Again, another 35, 40 pages, you will read all this stuff. In a, in a horizontal way, you will keep reading it, right? That's how it is going to be. Um, Shiram, is that the right way to read? Or I have to read this way, vertically. If you ask me, it's up to you. But I will prefer you to go by the book order. Book order goes horizontal way. Please read the book in that way. But it's early. Wait for some more time. As the session moves, you'll get more clarity. Right? That's a message. Meantime, some chats coming up. Quickly, I'll see. Was wondering where is number three? <laughs> so PMI follows in numerology. They found four is a good. So they start with four. <laughs> Mohan says, what is the significance of the number? Okay, I think you got it, Mohan. Uh, Sudhagar Salvam, 10 into 5 equal to Y49. Oh my goodness. Sudhagar, you are so mathematical, man. <laughs> 10 into 5. How could you calculate 10 into 5? I'm so excited. <laughs> okay. By the way, uh, 5 process groups are different here and 10 knowledge areas are different. These are just internal processes to move forward. There is no relation between 5 into 10. That's a good calculation you tried, but it's not a way. That's what you're going to learn. See, now they call it as ITTOs. I'm not sure some of, some of you may be aware. They call it as ITTOs. Inputs, tools and techniques, output. Now, every process will have some input and some output. Okay. First of all, what is process? In order to enroll into Sri Learning, you have to give some of your basic details. The Sri Learning team, along with Rahul, will work in the background and this process will happen. What's the process? Enrolling you into the online training. After process completion, you get an email. That email says that, sir, you got enrolled. Ma'am, you got enrolled. From Saturday, you can start listening to the classes. You will be added to the WhatsApp group. So, something you gave us an input, including your data and some money, both comes in. Output becomes a registered training program candidate, right? That's a process. Like this, in corporate, when the project has to move forward, they have many process. For example, control quality. A deliverable, a deliverable will come inside the quality department. They check it and pass it out as a verified deliverable. If you watch out here, a deliverable becomes a verified deliverable. In between what happened, some testing would have happened. Manual testing, automated testing, some testing would have happened. This makes an output. Okay, I'm not going to go deep dive now here. I'm just giving clue what a process means. Like this, we have 49 processes in a project can be carried out, not must be carried out. Underline the word, no must here. These are all there. If you want, pick and choose. It's like a buffet with a lot of items here. In this buffet, you'll pick up the process which is good for you and use it. If you don't feel it's not comfortable for your project, you can park it. You can go to the deserts, have the deserts and come back. You can go to the welcome drink and drink and come back. It's up to you to choose what you want. But this is all available. If I give the whole processes as a buffet to a person working in oil rig project, they will take all of them because it's a very huge project. They even ask more. Can you give more? If I give this to a software company, a small software, a mobile application, they will take only 20, 30 items out of it. The rest all they'll say, let's park it. Not needed now. If I need it, take it out. Right? Hope you got some clarity here before I move to the next stage. Hope that helps you. Okay, there is a question here. Um, where are we? By the way, you don't put in the private chat. You can put in a common chat. I'm seeing a question asking for the book you're referring to. Hey, by the way, if you're talking about the book, is it a PMP book or are you talking about philosophy book? Because I'm referring both the books here. Okay, move to the next stage. I think we saw those questions. We saw some books, PMP books. Yeah, I think somebody got the clarity. And we saw some factors about the you know, process, what all you have to follow for your examination. Right, exam factor, I have explained it. I believe we address a lot of questions. If you still have more questions, you are welcome. Maybe you can reach me in the WhatsApp to my team as well in the WhatsApp group. We are happy to help, right? That's the thing. But again, don't worry. Exam is a little far away. At least by only June middle, you will plan your exams. It's only we are in May. So you have time. So don't worry about that stuff. Okay, then we spoke about that. And we started discussing about the project. We spoke about predictive, adaptive nature project. That's a good deal. We spoke about it, which Khalifa and we spoke about softwares, and we started to stop here in iterate link. This is where I stopped. 
Okay, good then. Uh, let's move on. I was talking about predictive adaptive nature project. I know we took 30 minutes to come to the point where we have to start, but I know it's a good to start with some introductions in the first two weeks, then it'll get better. Predictive adaptive nature projects. Uh, I'm sure some of you are aware that I was giving a number like predictive can be 80% knowledge of the project you started, adaptive can be 20%. I'm just giving a number. There's no number defined in the books. I'm just giving a number. Can someone help me? A McDonald setting up this restaurant. Is it a predictive or adaptive nature project? Predictive, right? Predictive. Most of the stuff will be predictive, right? We know what is a place. We know the size and capacity. We know how much you're going to accommodate. Yeah, those factors are available. But nature will be more of predictive, less of adaptive. Okay, I can see that. More of predictive and adaptive. Let's go with the combination. I don't think it will be 100% predictive, we will be having a combination, but proportion will be high. Okay, let's go to the uh, factor of a COVID. I know this topic is a little hot topic in the market. So COVID medicine now, I know many countries are working out. Can that be predictive? It's purely adaptive. It's purely adaptive, but there are chances of predictive also there. Why? Because COVID is not new. It's happening by centuries. And people saying that it is there for so many decades and hundreds of years. So a lot of data is available already. So you will not start from ground zero. You will start from ground 30. From there you have to pick up. So already you have some information. It can be a little more predictive also, right? Right, chances are there. Uh, just I'm putting the point there. And uh, let's go to this uh, oil rig. By the way, this is called oil rig. It's the most complicated project. You look very simple here. It's the most complicated project. It's not that easy to. Anybody here from this oil and gas group? In this team, anybody we have? Okay, a couple of them said yes. Yes, it's it's a so complicated project. If anybody thinks that still water fodder works, still predictive nature works, these are the ideal examples. Without planning, you can't even think about this project. You should have systematic learning, natural climatic conditions, international borders, a lot of issues are there. Just like that, you can't do this project. It needs amazing planning. The PMP or some qualified guys, highly, highly, highly needed. Yeah, It's just so much complicated. I have worked with, I mean, at least been guided or uh, discussed some of the directors of this group uh, where they were recommending for some of the project management training for them, where I found the complications so high then I felt, oh my God, thank God, we were an IT industry. <laughs> control C, control V, so happy, right? It's not that easy, so complicated. Anyway, that's one of the predictive nature, most of the stuff. Now let's go to the project which earns crores of money. That is IT industry. Now tell me IT industry, is it a predictive or adaptive? It's hybrid. It's most of the time a hybrid model, right? Uh, now what's happening is IT also coming to a standard now. What happens is people know already what they want. From there, things starts. So they have a benchmark already. There were days, 10 years back, there is no benchmark. So people have to start from the ground zero. Now what happened? They have a benchmark. From there, they're starting it. So there is a hybrid model of opportunities there. Anyway, I think the team got the clarity. I saw good answers coming up. Let's move forward. Okay, there is a question for you. Let's see how good you are able to catch up. Read this question carefully and uh, look at the right sentence. Okay, answers going with the C and D. Can someone tell me what is the keyword you see in the question? I know it's a five, six lines of question. What is the keyword you see? One I'm seeing as the best, okay? So it means all are uh, almost correct answer. One is the best answer. So somebody says uh, best. I'm getting a lot of answers here. Many are saying A, C, I'm seeing B, I'm seeing D. <laughs> all are there, okay? uh okay 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 good then thanks for all the answers i'm seeing this as one of the keyword very good before that we'll go here she realized that because of the software because the software will be delivered to the qa team 
exactly when they are have overlapping vacations okay there is some overlapping vacations happening there is a serious risk of quality problems because there won't be anyone there won't be anyone to test okay this is a problem that is a main core problem now this core problem they're asking what this describes a constraint this places on the project on the project on a whole project what kind of risk is facing when or what kind of pressure you put there uh, yeah we can look at quality but again quality constraint is not as a primary one okay time constraint uh, no it isn't putting time constraint resource constraint look like let's look this and come back again risk constraint uh, no it's not bringing up okay if i look at the whole answers if i want to eliminate quality time and risk i will go with the resource as one of the constraint the reason being is they are not available and there is some sort of overlap is going to happen if i fix this problem as a constraint i can fix the quality problem i can fix a time delay in the project i can also fix some of the risk which will happen if the resource is not available right it's going to address all these three when i fix this stuff do people agree that if you give an answer as apart from c that look like an answer right so they're going to see a solution so i'm not looking an answer here i'm looking for a solution what is the best thing you are the leader you are the manager in the project they're asking you hey what do you think the best thing they call you to a conference and asking you you cannot put a finger on hey it's a quality problem man you guys fix it hey it's a time problem you fix it rather yeah it's a resource problem let's fix a resource it will fix other three constraints automatically can be yeah so that's the answer looking up i know the explanation looks so bigger than the answer anyway there's a point story about that factor which i spoke about you good there great i appreciate it let's quickly go to the next stage of uh, planning this is what i want to talk to you yesterday but today it comes out so what we are going to talk today uh, today i'm going to talk about how things work most of you here are planning for the examination few weeks of time i quickly touch base and it's go to the next subject now there is a three weeks of time where you can plan and go for the examination when i say three weeks it can be from the day the class has started or from the last day of the classes but if you start from the day the class started you need a 35 pdus some of you in this group i know that you already have a pdus you already learned from different groups and institutes also if you feel that from today you want to start for the exam yes you can because in this three weeks time you'll get a knowledge subject and again i'll give a plan to you for preparing and you can go for exam one variety of people second variety of people shinam after the class gets over three weeks if i'm done with my exam i'm happy after the class three weeks goes to july middle july middle if i'm done i'm happy yes you can work out we'll ask we'll put a plan to you and give to you where you have to read at least four hours on a working day morning to hours evening to hours as i said the beginning avoid television or some distractions weekends you'll spend around eight hours and the last five days i have to stay with you don't worry i will not come to your home but i'll keep watching with you what you do so you will be in touch with me closely every day you have to share with me details where to go or what you are doing i won't ask you what food you eat but i'll ask all the stuff what are you doing how much you are reading this will be the close watch okay this is the last you say that shiram i'm not so urgent man three weeks i can't do it i'm not a person i have a family i have a official life i'm a senior post in a company a lot of emails no 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 i can't do this give me eight weeks 56 days if you feel that there is a plan for it where you will work for 56 days of time where this is very decent two hours you have to work morning on hour evening on hour and weekend six hours reasonably pre lunch post lunch and last five days eight hours is sufficient and i have to read the stuff because you have enough read the long duration right so two variety of plans are there to work out it look like a vacation package right <laughs> now there are some people here in this group who tell that i don't want to be in this category i don't want to be in this category can you tell me a free plan which i will do after uh, let's say 10 weeks of time plan or more than that yes you can there are some people in this team can tell that hey i want to digest the subject first before even i go for the exam i'm not urgent about the exam i'm in a good job good position everything is good for me i'm not changing the job i'm not changing the country i want to learn 
I want to be a best person. Yes, you can take 10 to 12 weeks of time, but don't go beyond this. If you go beyond this, what will happen is first you will forget the spelling of PMP. Then you'll forget the trainer name. Third, you forget that you yourself learn the training or not. You'll totally forget all the stuff. Within 12, 13 weeks, you lose total context. And again, it's so hard to come back. So this is a max time which you can go, max time. Beyond this, it's so hard to come back again, right? Good, that's pretty much on the plans. But again, I'll talk to you on this once you give me the exam date. What you have to do is, uh, I will be sharing you a registered link. In that link, you have to fill your exam date. After checking your calendar, you can tell that, hey, August uh, 5th, I want to go to exam. July uh, 10th or 12th, I want to go to exam. Fill that in the sheet. Later, I will set a workout for you and I prepare a plan for you. How do the plan look like? The plan will look like this. Okay, and a lot of content here, but I mean, it's a good plan. In this plan, if you watch out, I have put some detail for you. You will have your name coming up here. Your name will already be here. And you have an exam date and number of days you have to prepare for it. And what all things you have to do on a daily basis. On a daily basis, what you have to write, what you have to read for that specific link and data. And every subject, in the subject internally, what you have to read. I mean the module wise. And what is the start date, what is the end date. This is how it will be explained, including the mock exams will be explained. So this is going to really help you to very well go for the program, right? Good then, any questions here from your side? I know a lot of questions may come, any questions? Uh, Paul Raj is asking, if you don't have PDU, can we start the study from today? Uh, similar to PPL with, yeah, you can, what's stopping you? Nothing going to stop you. Yeah, very good, you can do that. Sure, that's right. Bhaskar is asking, when will be uh, registering link be set? Yeah, good question, um, uh, Bhaskar. You will be getting it immediately after the one week of timeline. Okay, there are some Ryan stars coming up. Uh, Rahul is raising the hand. Uh, Rahul, any help needed there? Not sure. Okay, good then. Okay, okay go ahead. Uh, what are the questions you have on this part? Okay, on practice exams, you will be shared with some practice exams. Daddy, I would request you to go for the four practice exams, which will be 200 questions each, right? And before going to this, chapter-wise, you will write 50 questions. Every chapter, that is 10 chapter going to come. 10 chapter, 50 questions, around 500 questions you touched here. And then you will go for 200 questions, at least four exams, at least four. If you want to go more than that, it's up to you. Four is sufficient. In this four exams, if you are scoring between 65 to 72%, you are well and good. Which exam? Those things I'll explain a little later. For your understanding now, you can go for this, right? This is how it is. Very good, fantastic. There is a question here. Can we write the exam on our comfortable date? Yes, anytime. Okay, for your information, for everyone here, PMI Institute conducting exams online. What do you mean by online? In your laptop, at your comfortable time, you can write the examination. Only thing you have to book a slot. For example, you can book a 9 p.m. on a night. It can be any time zone. You can book it and sit and write exam. Night one o'clock, you can write an exam. Early morning, you write an exam. Many people choose late in the night, early in the morning. The reason is network bandwidth will be good. And also you won't have much distraction. Two things people choose this time and write the examination. Now Ganesh is putting a question. What is the timeline for the 50 question given from you? What is the timeline for the 50 question? Which 50 question? I didn't get you Ganesh. Uh, okay, coming back, Prabhu, I have did some e-learning from LinkedIn related to PMP and earned PDUs. May I use it? Yes, it will be useful if you covered all the 35 PDUs. By the way, don't worry about the PDU stuff. If you're going to register to this class, when the class ends by June middle, you will automatically get the PDU. So don't worry about it. Okay, in exam, there's a question from ccvv 2 Bank. Okay, please change that to your name. It will be easy to call. Don't have your system name. And your main exam question will have totally 200 questions. I think we spoke about this yesterday. If you missed it yesterday, today it is around 200 questions in PMP exam. Good, 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 good. Good, and when you go for the practice exams, all these practice exams will go for four hours. What, four hours? 
yes it is going to be a little tough to sit four hours and write an examination in fact this practice are meant you to uh, get ready for the main exam sitting four hours is not that easy so hard that too with the distractive world where we are um, it, it's going to be so so hard Oof. i'm getting a message we lost you uh, rakshit i'm sorry i'm getting not getting you rakshit what's that you're not hearing me the volume is down is back oh did anybody have the problem of internet connection i mean you felt that i lost okay i feel i'm good there okay uh, anyway thanks rakshit for that message look like uh, network is good there okay good okay let's move on now what happened is uh, what happened is the four exams i mean four hours exams are not so easy to sit that's so hard that's the reason i want you to practice four exams when you do four exams you get comfortable you can sit for four hours but now as i have said earlier your exam are divided like this 89 questions and 111 questions so 89 questions you can complete in 2 hours and then come out of it and again 111 questions you can go for next 2 to 2 hours right that way you can save uh, or at least you can be so much comfortable you are going to have some break there that's enough with the exam let's move if any questions i'll attend it if i'm going study plan study plan looks so colorful you have to work out well let's get to the project concepts few more concepts um, i was explaining there are six constraints in the project okay how you can see the constraints here uh, time it is called as schedule cost and scope resource quality and risk these six are constraints which can upscale or put your project down both the way however it is i personally feel that stakeholder management and effective communication management are very vital for a project success these days i'm getting a feel that this is also part of the constraint which can derail your project i generally start the pmp classes with the stakeholder management then i proceed to communication management after you understand all this ground properly then only i will take you to this areas i'm going to explain all these areas two to three hours every session and give clarity however it is uh, the book starts from integration management scope management then goes the schedule management cost management this is how the book will be there the last chapter in the book is called stakeholder management after reading the books after preparing for the exam clearing the exam and doing project management for nearly so many years i understood that stakeholder understanding is very important and that can be a start of your project it's my personal feel then also i found that certainly setting the proper communication track is very vital for a project success so i would prefer to give more importance to this area also apart from this six constraints so i'll be drilling you with eight areas left and right after drilling this eight areas there are two more areas to be covered can someone tell me what are the two more areas i'm missing here we have 336 plus 28 is integration and procurement that's big integration is one of the top of the thing which is going to touch all the dots and vendor management is nothing but procurement right they will explain it okay good 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 lot of information good then great guys i appreciate it oof somebody put some message sorry guys sometime i'm missing your chat uh okay rahul is putting a question uh, is this a rahul from our side or different rahul is it fine to start fourth edition okay by the way um, if you are talking fourth edition timbok we are in sixth edition so you have to start reading from sixth edition you cannot go with the i'm talking edition. about head first sorry i'm talking about head first okay if you say head first is fourth edition is that referring to sixth edition have you read that page okay no yeah please look at the book i'm sure it is referring to uh, sixth edition only but whenever you see a book from third party like rita or head first just don't go with their version numbers it's their version go back and see are they referring to pembok sixth edition you always have to see the book in the first three pages are you seeing this word if you don't see this word don't choose that book you have to choose a book with a pembok sixth edition right fantastic good question let's move uh, thanks rahul for clarifying i know we have two rahuls here now <laughs> okay good good rakshit thanks for confirming let's move let's move 
Okay, let's talk about the portfolio management. This is one of the topic. Um, Vikas is saying fifth edition. Please don't read that. Read the sixth edition. It's very important. No, no, no. Because it's the same answer to you what I say to Rahul. You have to read something referring to Pimba sixth edition. So the exam is targeted on that area. If you read the fifth edition, you will miss 30 to 40 questions in exam. Chances are your results won't be good for you. So don't read that. It's not an altogether book change, but at least 30, 40 questions you'll miss because some addition has been done in sixth edition. You have to read that. Hope you got the answer. Let's move about the portfolio. Now in uh, PMBOK or in PMP books, on the first three chapters, we talk about the portfolio. Um, portfolio is something at the highest level. What is the highest level? Let us understand a little more factors here. In any organization, we have something called organizational strategy. The strategy generally comes from the CEO of the company or the CIO or the director or the shareholders or board of directors. They frame the strategy for the organization. Strategy means what? The high level thoughts or concepts which can enhance a company from a stage where we are now to the new stage. Moving from one place to another place is called a strategy. For example, you have a strategy that I should look fit and good in the year 2020, in December 2020. So I look to look very good and fit. Could be a top level strategy. Now, just looking good is not a parameter. You should have some numbers for it. Okay, I should be 70 kg. I should be able to run so fast. I should have a healthy life, sleep eight hours or seven hours properly. And that can be some metrics on that. So there is a strategy, there is a metrics. Then mixed together, you start implementing it. You go to gym, you eat proper food, happens. An organization will tell that a share value should go I by 5%. It can tell that we have to reach a society very well. Our goodwill level should go high. World Health Organization will tell that the COVID should be eradicated from the world by 2025. Don't be surprised, it may take that many years. 2025, we have to move out of the COVID at least a part of it, right? So this can be strategy. And these are the strategy generally comes in organization. Now, how the strategy percolate down? That we have to understand. Before we go there, Let's go and see on the left side here. I'm sure some of you are aware that Google is a company which is reporting to a parent company called Alphabet. If you don't know that, Google is not an individual company. It is mapping with a company called Alphabet and Alphabet runs multiple organizations under that. For example, Calco is there who does the biotechnology research in this area. It's a very expensive process. Nest is their hardware system. What you get the Nexus phone from Google is a hardware system for them. Google Ventures is there, Capital is there, Fiber is there. On top of that, Google, the main source of income, right? In this main source of income, search engine is the biggest stuff for them. It gives a lot of revenue. Ads generate a lot of revenue. YouTube, make sure it is the best thing in the market. They never allow any company come to the market. They make sure they are the one, right? So now point here is, this is, this is where the alphabet will be there. Alphabet keep on thinking about how to increase the market share. To the shareholders, they have to give answers. Or they tell that how do they make the video streaming the better in the market. How to make the advertisements happening the way, right? So for this, the strategy will be framed and the strategy percolates down. What do you mean by percolates down? I have to divide them by portfolios. For example, Android is a portfolio. YouTube is a portfolio. Play Store is a portfolio. It's a portfolio. For you in a mobile, it's only small app. For them, is a billion dollar business. They'll have a portfolio for it. One guy sitting on top of a Play Store will be the greatest guy in the market who earns a big piece of money and have a great sort of mindset to work out on that area. For you, it's a small screen. Just click it. For them, it's the main stuff, right? So that's called portfolio. Under the portfolio, they will have a programs. If I go under this each segment, they have multiple programs running. Why we need a programs? The programs, nothing but collection of projects will fall under one program. Why we have to put a collection of projects under one program? The projects are relevant to one another. There is a chance you can share the resources with one another, knowledge with one another, and people with one another, and some of the risk factors can be discussed with one another. And that correlation will be between these uh, projects. They can work under one group. It's like a grapes, group of grapes being there. And that makes them to move forward smoothly. 
if I put an example here, uh, I want, I'm talking about Alphabet. Let's talk about something big in India. Big in India, we have Tata. Tata is one of the biggest group, not only India now, they are there in many parts of the world, many of the countries, right? So now, um, they, let's take a Tata Motors. Tata Motors is one of the portfolio, right? Tata um, TCS or computer services is one portfolio. Tata Gold segment is one portfolio. Tata's multiple portfolios. One of the port portfolio is Tata Motors. In Tata Motors, there could be a program for a heavy weight vehicles. There could be another program for lightweight vehicles. Heavyweight vehicles will have a school buses, they have lorries and JCP machines. Programs, lightweight vehicles, they can have hatchback cars, Jaguar can be there, Land Rover can be there, they can be a group of cars here. Now, what's the benefit of putting like this? When the heavy vehicles all put together as a project group, they can share knowledge and resource. Cars put together, they can share together knowledge is here. This is how they organize it. I'm pretty sure in this group, many of you work in this structure of organization. Can some of you agree that you work in this structure of organization? Having a portfolio, program, projects running through? Yep, good. Thanks, thanks for confirming. This is a structure followed for so many years. This is not a hierarchy. I always see it as a conceptual way. Someone has to talk about strategy. I don't want my team to think too much about strategy, but know about the strategy. This is a business strategy and augmentation. You have to know about the details. Programs, projects come over. But one thing I have to tell you, which is a really interesting and shocking factor, even though they frame a great strategy here, even though they have a great portfolio manager, even though they have a program manager amazingly great, if the project does not go well, this all will collapse. All will collapse. Nothing will work. All will get collapsed. So the heartbeat of any organization stays in project. Now you may understand why PMP is important, why PMP is highly recognized, why PMP is highly demanded in the market. The reason is heartbeat of any organization lies in project. A company's growth depends on the projects, what they do. In different industries, they use a different naming convention. If you go to scaled agile framework, they call it as a value stream. If you go to some other segment, they call it as a products. At the end of the day, it's all projects which moves a company from one place to another place. It is not only for the company, even for the countries. Nowadays, countries are working with projects. Every country set a big strategy. If you ask China, they have a big strategy. If you ask India, a big strategy. If you ask Canada, US, they have a big strategy. At least not now, 100 years back, they framed a great strategy. That's why they are the top countries in the world now. Somebody has framed it. Strategies are very important, but end of day, someone has to do that. That's a part of project. Shriram, I'm not a project manager. I'm going to be a program manager. I'm going to be a portfolio manager. Then why have to learn this? If you ask me, without knowing this heartbeat, if you go and sit here, somebody will eat your brain. You should know what it is. I have taken classes to some of the CEOs who come and learn PMP. They are not going to work in the project, but they want to know how the heartbeat works. That's very important. Hope that makes some sense for you in understanding this portfolio structure. Uh, yeah, okay. I think Priya, you should have got the detail now. Difference between program manager and project manager. Right? Program manager is nothing but collection of projects. They're going to work together on controlling things. Project manager focus specifically one, maybe two projects. That's how it works. Great. That's great. Uh, good move. Uh, Priya is asking layman terms. Oh, what do you mean by layman terms? Uh, I'm not sure. What is the structure you work, Priya? Do you have a program manager in your company? If you don't have a program manager, it's so hard for you to get the point. See, a program is a collection of projects. I think I was talking about the stuff of Tata, right? If you want a bank, in a banking operation, let's say loans distribution segment. I'm going for your example, let's say bank. Loans distribution. In loans distribution, they'll have a program manager. One project manager will handle loans only for education system. One project manager can handle for agricultural farm, right? So now, how these guys can interact with one another? It's the end of day, it's all loan system. But there is a project handling for education. There is a project handling for 
uh, agriculture they probably they can work with one another in some of the segments not all will correlate some can correlate a program is a collection of projects multiple projects put under one group a group group of group items right i think you're getting the point pavan is asking what is operations operation is something like uh, you hand over the task after the project completed which will be taken care by them as a continuous flow of it right for example you uh, complete a car new car getting manufactured or uh, let me take a car not a car let's take a wireless mouse okay i have a wireless mouse like this this wireless mouse when they first designed it first they designed it that's a project it took time for them to design this one someone has made a design the hand should be holded like this click should be there uh, all factors after designing this the design will went to a production first they did a first mouse like this that is a project once they complete it they'll go and show to the ceo or director of the company hey you know what we found a new mouse like this looks interesting very good now the director or ceo of the company buys his phone from this guy the manager and says looks good amazing and hand out to the operation team can you make one lakh copy like this so they're going to make operational activity of bringing up more product like this this is one segment another one is after doing this someone has to maintain it someone has to service it that's going to be operations department a manager may not involve into that a project manager will focus on the first design which came in the market that's why it's called unique in nature hope that answers you pavan okay actually is putting a question day to day activities that needs to be performed on top of a project activities yeah that's right shama these projects can be related to each other which comes under one program that's right i think shama's question answers the question of priya priya probably would read that if you see that these projects are related to each other which comes under one program i think you get the point there great good let's keep moving okay when i talk about a project and product i want to give a little highlight on certain areas uh when i say certain areas how a product life cycle and project life cycle look like you have to get a feel of it if you watch out here there are two life cycles which we'll talk about it one is product other one is project by the way both looks very closer uh, i'm not sure how good the font is visible but it'll, it'll font your product life cycle maybe it starts here and it may end here your product what is a product this is a telephone is a product the floppy drive is a product this wet grinder is a product okay from the oilx right now these are the products now these products come to the market after some sort of research and development some research and development by the way don't get stuck with the word development development is not for the it industry it's for anybody in the world so the research and development part this is the place you will do a project i let me clarify here see the the moment the design comes in and we work on the planning execution monitor and control and you close it and now somebody will launch into the market once they launch to the market the operations team will take control of it and the product will stay in the market for a while for a while for a while for a while and one day it will decline and die do you feel that this phones are no more available now i'm sure you are this floppy disk disappeared how many of you have seen this wet grinder at your home your grandma can lift the stone just like that i tried it right you tried it i've seen my grandma lifting it just with the one arm right okay uh, after the life cycle over it's gone now we don't have this all our mini grinder that grinder itself these are people can't lift it those is grandmas can lift those big stone healthy life they lived okay for people from it industry how many of you seen this call r cut arcuit is one of the software um, i mean uh, it's a father of facebook <laughs> okay don't ask me who is the mother father of the facebook okay now you would have seen this uh, applicable there for years back and it had a time somebody developed the software they launched it in the market and after some time it was surviving for a while and market declined and it dead down right that's what happening so any product will have a life cycle starting and ending now what is your role your role is initiating planning executing and closing you will play only role here after this there is a big team to take care of this right that's a point by the way this is not part of your exam question it's just sort of explaining you the difference between product scope and you get a um, idea about what is product life cycle and project life cycle yeah, an idea about it if you look back anything around you you will see some life cycle going through 
you yourself is <laughs> have a life cycle right you born grown up you pay a stage and you disappear you and me are going to have a life cycle yeah we have some time right anybody here going to be for thousand years if anybody here please give me your phone number or talk to you but most of you will be numbers are counted days are counted we have a product life cycle right a life cycle go and come down now coming to the point of the of work anything happens of any bridge construction dam construction software hardware anything has a time now where you play a role as a manager the first time you introduce something into the market you play a time shikam can enhancement be called as a project yes that's also project you do a bridge construction you launched it lnt launched a bridge in bangalore after 3 years they're asking for enhancement can you expand it one more turning curve in the bridge it's a attached project to the already existing project so it can be an enhancement work right but maintaining that bridge regularly with the painting repairing that's an operations team there i know need to sit there no need a great brain of work that can be repeated work but brain of work is that same manager will travel to another city going to mumbai do one more bridge project work that's going with other process hope that gives some clarity okay mohan is putting a question uh, does it mean pms do not have any role post launch that is during the later stages of the product life cycle may not need it mohan uh, but there is a, a time period where you hand over they call a handover time you have to complete all the work and you have to hand over to the next department where they take it up some time you two weeks three weeks months depending on the work we have to monitor then you have to come out of it see rocket launching in isro let's take isro nasa rocket launch project rocket launch there will be a manager project manager program manager portfolio manager all will be there they will do the work they launch a rocket until it goes set in the orbit the project manager has to watch it once it settled in the orbit they'll hand over to the operations team where they start collecting the data and start doing work on that do you expect the manager to sit there and collect data every day i don't think so that manager will go for next rocket launching start working on next rocket which has to be launched so that's how they keep moving up right that makes some sense i believe um that's great good 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 okay let's move on okay great let's move let us move let's move let's move i think we're nearing to the time where samita is going to join to talk about her success before that we'll touch something on factors of pmo uh, some of you should be pmo here in this group um, if you are a pmo and uh, if you're aware of it it's so interesting amazing role whether they quickly let's get a stats of it how many of you here pmo project management office people Ooh. bunch bunch part of pmo great pmo is a very important role in project management and uh, last six years or five years many organizations have thought that pmo may not be needed without pmo with the computers we can survive this is a thought came in 2010 onwards right and many pmo lost their job because of excel and word document then i understood pmo is a very important role beyond the computers they are the one connecting the people right they are the one set the track between the managers and program managers so the pmo stands as a person who handles it's a, it's a group of people by the way so don't think one person group of people can be there they have a supportive pmo controlling pmo and they have a directive pmo what is supportive pmo they help the team to learn the lessons learned from the previous projects share some resources and give them templates and i help them to move forward in the project that's a supportive pmo they give all the information to the project controlling pmo the same data provided by the controlling pmo also but keep a watch are they following properly they will be top of the project to understand are they going systematically are the policy and procedure followed properly are they using the right templates are they with the right communication with the customer are they syncing up properly they generally keep an eye of um the stuff right that's happening with the controlling pmo these both are little closer to one another but have a little more control here right beyond this two there is one pmo which is called very powerful pmo it is a directive pmo in this directive pmo generally we get a domain expert a person working in the same company for 10 15 years or 20 years or 30 years they become a directive pmo where they will provide the same stuff template stuff they'll give beyond that they will also start involving in decision making in the project 
what kind of decision making they can make decision on the timeline of the project they can make decision on the cost of the project they can make decision on the resource of the project primarily they will have more control on the project it's so rare to see directive pmos some of the big organization some of the people are so strong in domain communication with the customer they become a directive pmo it's so rare role if you will see that when a directive pmo comes in a project manager will report to this pmo that our project manager report to this directive pmo such a powerful people they are right but the point here is the pmos are where they are i will go back now i will go back now to to do mouse 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 yeah now come back here maybe now i'll try to attend the priya's question also i know priya was asking about program project so i'll put again the point if you see here a pmo can sit somewhere here a pmo will be the person who will help the people to talk with the one another and get the resources and material under a program i was telling that a tata cars uh, a program tata lorries is a program right so now the program is collection of projects now when they are collection of projects they have to share resources and lessons learned with one another i may not go and ask another person because i am busy with my project i won't go to ask other person rather i will reach out to pmo pmo will connect with the other managers they will try to help me the connections smoothly we also have pmo at this level portfolio level this is one of the portfolio right that can be tata having another portfolio another portfolio like what we saw in alphabet multiple portfolios this pmo will connect to the portfolio to portfolio it can happen there are powerful pmos in the market so this is how it works so priya you now we are getting a little more idea on what do you think about program and projects right so uh, the people work as as a pmos uh, anybody serve as a direct pmo who has a full control very good baskar in it agile scenario will csm uh, be doing no no uh, ashwin csm is not there csm is a scrum master csm plays only to the team uh when i is no csm is servant leader okay i got the answer report to direct pmo report to okay i don't think anybody is a direct pmo a direct pmo needs good amount of experience good amount of experience good amount of power right okay great then uh, thanks for that answers let's move on good you got some idea about pmos let's add a question before we put one more topic before we invite samita in let us go i think this question is going to be easy for most of you because just now i explained okay some of you putting your hands up um, i couldn't understand why it is if any question you can throw the question here okay answer is coming as <laughs> b you got sick everybody got the answer man <laughs> so attentive you guys are huh? <laughs> good 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 very good also i believe that you all have a paper and pencil to you and you are writing down right if you didn't write down i will request you now good i saw all the answers perfect there now what i'll do is i'll go back i want you to write it down a paper if you have a paper pencil next to you write pmo and put three arrows and write supporting pmo controlling and directive pmo once you did it give me a word done once you done write me done in the somebody saying already written god man <laughs> i think this team is so crazy fast yeah? <laughs> you guys are going to clear pmp within weeks i believe one correct answer that's good that's good amazing amazing i'm so surprised so good so good even the last batch we had so attentive batch they were all writing but much faster but this time i see it started doing way before i'm doing something okay so advance here let's move good good okay one more topic before we go for the next stages uh ha, ha, ha. okay one more question come sahir okay sahir uh, quickly I'll connect, connect with you as i want to go to next topics okay major difference uh, you talk about support you and controlling pmo right uh, support you controlling and two pmos at top level support to pmo only on the ask basis they will give the data to the team uh, you will come to me imagine i'm the pmo you will come to me shriram can you give me some of the previous project lessons learned can you give me some templates how to do schedule management cost management can you help me some of the resource information i will just give you keep quiet that's it i'll give you that's it whatever you want i'll give giving you in controlling pmo what will happen is 
I will also watch out, are you following the templates and standards? I'll do an internal audit to check out if everything's going well. That helps you, Syed. That's the case. Let's move to the next part. Next part is two things we have to talk about here. One is on influencing factors. Now, influencing factors means every project will have some sort of influence, either internal or external influence. By the way, what is influence? Influence is something like it may take in the right or wrong direction. Now, they call it as EEF. EEF stands for Enterprise Environmental Factors. Write down on the paper enterprise environmental factors the factors which is beyond the reach of the project which is out of the project right now with the, with the reach outside of the project which can be of a common policies can be of a natural climatic conditions can be of some of the portfolio level decisions some of the ceo level decisions some of your vendor decisions see these are some decisions made beyond the reach of project which can influence your project now what's happening with the COVID system happening now, or Corona stuff happening now, governments are making certain decisions. We won't do business with this country. We don't want to import and export, stop all the import and export. And that's an EEF, which you don't have any of control, but that has a control on your project. You know, why should I worry about it, man? For me, they give me a JIRA ticket, they give me an MS project, or Excel sheet, I'll do my project work. Do I need to worry about it? Good question yes you have to worry that's the answer because you are a leader you are a manager you have to see the parameters around your project you have to keep an eye all the direction i'm sure some of you read about books of bruce lee have you read about bruce lee bruce lee says that even when you drink water your eyes should be up like an animal an animal taking water in the pond the eyes will be up why watching out enterprise environmental factors survival instinct you just drink the water crocodile will come and take you <laughs> the same applies in the project your eyes should be around what's happening what's happening that's vital okay quickly some chats coming up i'll see this and get back uh, okay okay samita has joined hey samita thanks for being here give me two minutes this topic then i'll give to you uh, Yes, you are right, Brennan. Um, enterprise environmental factors. That's right. Uh, great, Prabhu got it. Quickly, I'll come to this topic. We have the PMP successfully cleared person here. We have to give time to her. So give me two minutes. I'm closing up. So the next one is OPA, organizational process asserts. This can be in control of project where you can make some decisions within the process of your company, policies and procedures of your organizations. Right, you, your company has some policy that um, your resource can work only eight hours on the weekdays. On a weekend, if you work, there should be overtime charge from the customer. Some factors are there to obey to that. You can't go beyond that. And your company will have some process to be followed. Procedures should be there. A women resource not expected to work late in the night. If they work, we have to make sure it has been informed to the managers. I know it's a hard decision, but we have to do it. That's a society ask here. So there are certain factors which come from enterprise environmental that will have impact on OPA also. The point is which are things outside of your control. And at the same time, certain things are inside your organization which can control. These are things which you are already working. Don't think it's new, you're working, but you may not know the naming of this. I'll repeat again, EEF stands for Enterprise Environmental Factors. Imagine the weather condition, government policy, for example. OPA, Organizational Process Assets. Assets, assets means something you can reuse. Organization knowledge is one of the asset. What is a knowledge? Lessons learned from previous projects. Lessons learned from previous sprint. Lessons learned from something on which happened in the last release. That is asset. Now you can go and look back. So you know who will provide this information? A PMO will provide this information. A PMO will have this information. You can go and ask them. By the way, these two information are influencing factors in the project. So you know, we have to worry about it. No need to worry, it's part of your life. You have to proceed on with that. I give an example for that when you drive a car. In your car, you have a left side mirror and right side mirror, right? Do you always see those mirrors? I don't think so. 
when you need your eyes will go there if not you keep driving same in project you keep driving but whenever you need it you will have an eye on those in mirror to see everything is going good so that is what eef and opa don't worry this is going to come in all the processes which i'm going to explain so i'm going to talk about this again and again and again so if you don't get the concept now don't worry and i'm explaining those lot of examples we'll catch it up for now understand eef stands for enterprise environmental factors opa stands for organizational process assets if you do that you are good that's it let's quickly say chat window ha uh, that's a point uh, what was opa organizational process assets okay uh, yeah see internal and external uh, for aishwarya's question she's asking what is internal and external i'll give a little example for it external can be out of your organization could be even uh, the government level changes or border level changes between the countries uh, weather condition in chennai there was a heavy cyclone or uh, water um, flood level in 2015 which is not in our control but the company was shut down for two months where we have to slow down the project and that's the external factors which is not in your control government changes the policy gst came in in india many projects got delayed many projects had a factors on that that's external factors what is internal your company vendor discontinue business with you there could be something policy change your portfolio manager resigned your ceo resigned something internal to the organization but still it can influence in your project it can be there right okay uh, did, 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 did. that's good okay great good 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 for the answers and uh, let's go to let's go to the person i'm making her to wait for a while okay just quickly on the coverage what all we have seen uh, in this segment in this segment in this particular package we have so far seen what is pmp a <laughs> good thing how pmp exam works you got some idea lot more to learn but at least you got some idea now exam study plan i just gave overall view interestingly you learned something which is called as five process groups 10 knowledge areas and 49 processes at least you have a basement now where to start your pmp and you also understand what is a project talent triangle eef opa pmos these are nothing but basics main game get to start Ooh. somebody is saying that shiram get to start oh my god already is overloading man i can't listen to this <laughs> if you feel that way we are just starting we're ready to go to the main area okay with that what i do is i have to give to the credit to the person who cleared pmp with the great scores so Uh, hey Samita, thanks for joining, and um, hope I'm audible to you. You're good to listen. Uh, Samita, you can open up your mic if you are good there to speak. Hey, hi, Shura. Fantastic, great. First of all, thanks a lot for uh, joining here. I know you cleared your PMP with about target all the area and with very short time. I think you cleared the exam in three hours, if I'm not wrong. Yes. Uh, just give me a moment. I'm checking if I can start my video as well. Okay. Good. Cool. Okay. We'll give a minute of time. So please wait here, uh, candidates. We are pulling up uh, Samita here. Meantime, I'll try to get her uh, certificate so that it'll be nice to see her certificate also. Uh huh. Okay. She's going to help you with some of the tips. What all she did to make the exam smoother, but still three hours is oh my god. Even I can't imagine about it. It's not easy. <laughs> okay, Samita, what I do is uh, until you work out, I'm just going to pull up your profile. Uh, hope you don't mind showing your profile. Okay, this is Samita. She is a lead in Infosys. <clears throat> so she recently cleared PMP, and she's PMP certified uh, with a uh, good grade. By the way, her certificate looks like this. Even though she cleared in three hours, they don't mention the certificate that she cleared in three hours. That's so bad. it will be good samita right they can mention that she cleared in 3 hours okay that sounds good meet up i'll see some uh, topic questions here mm -hmm. exam fee goes at triple 5 dollars rahul samia is putting a point here a simple example would be issue is newly encountered in your team But this is already addressed by some other team. This save time and solution understanding issue. Great, Samia. Good there. Good example. 
appreciate it uh, samya you should be good we are all set for you so fantastic fantastic hey by the way team uh, what going to happen here is after samya uh, samita sorry i said samya samita completes her uh, um explanation for 10 minutes then we'll go for a quick 5 minutes break and one come part of the break they're going to do the workshop so be prepared with some pencil and paper next to you and we have to do this workshop to understand certain factors so i'm going to give you 40 minutes for this workshop so let's utilize it very effectively okay there is a question from vikas do we have to take the exam again after expiration okay after expiration when you mean they give a 3 years of time in this 3 year of time you can renew it if you don't renew it they give another 8 months of grace time again 8 months also you don't do that yes it will be expired so it means that you are not no more a professional you didn't read well you didn't educate yourself you are little old in the concepts so they will tell that can you please go ahead and read again that's a point hope vikas that answers you good 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 uh, samita uh, things are good for you now if you are good you can go ahead don't worry if a cam is not coming up don't struggle but we will be happy to see you as well okay brinit is asking a question once you pass the exam how long does it takes to be assigned your pmp number immediately the night if it clear by 8 pm your time that same moment the number is assigned they will give you immediately but it will take at least one or two hours to reflect in your website but your exam is done your number is assigned Hi Shuram I'm back uh, somehow the video is not working maybe it's oh, difficult in office PC so we can't see you <laughs> yeah <laughs> I tried but it uh, looks no like problem. they have blocked no the problem. camera no problem uh, first of all thanks to Samita and congratulations for clearing your PMP thank you it's, uh, it's a big big effort i remember the days you are reading like anything <laughs> hard work and uh, there is there is no shortcut in PMP only answer is there is no shortcut Hmm. right so uh, let's listen from you how things went for you yeah you just mentioned right they don't mention the three year thing in the certificate i think it's for the good for others because they will get demotivated it doesn't work the <laughs> same way for others right <laughs> okay. no, it's, it's other way also samita they might doubt oh she got oh support. yeah exactly support there <laughs> maybe they have removed the end button for the people like me <laughs> <laughs> okay very good very good yeah please go to her. so how many months you are preparing for this exam um i joined your classes around end of january and mm -hmm. i gave my exams in may i had to post i i actually planned to give in april but i postponed because of the corona thing going on i did not know whether they will be rescheduling for online option or not so i thought let's wait for some time so thankfully they made this online option on from 20th of april right so i was lucky <laughs> then i gave it on me so yeah 3 months you can say uh, that's it that's good time that's a good time yeah. good good very good and uh, a quick thing ask is uh, many want to know that how this online exam is it uh, comfortable to write at the home um, how this works in online exam uh, maybe little topic of the for one or two minutes will help many people because many know what is online but they don't how the pmi conducts it if you give a couple of points on that it will help many of them so uh, actually it again um, is something we need to follow the instructions on on screen because when i was listening to somebody who had cleared before on your session he was mentioning few things which did not happen for me which was different for me and all oh. that so oh. uh, it is totally like somebody will come to your screen and totally guide you through oh. and that's it okay so if i give some instruction people will start following it it's not the right way to do so uh, what i can say is um, strictly follow the instruction whichever is coming on your screen and that's it so uh, if somebody will tell that you know, i think we talked a few days back you said somebody got an email a day prior and all those things right it did not happen for me oh. maybe yeah it nothing happened for me i just oh. logged in on my session time and i followed the instructions and that's it it was that smooth so what is the exam time actually uh it was around 6 pm in the evening 6 pm means you have to go by 5:30 pm and uh, you have to produce your information of your uh, details and then they do some checking yeah that's uh, what was written in the instruction mail but nothing happened for me somebody just <laughs> 
came on like <laughs> it, yes. it did happen for others because i heard the other person speaking on the last yeah. class, right yes. that he has to check and all those things yes. somebody had wrote that they asked to remove the watch and all those nothing this nothing happened for me so uh, i am not the right person to take as a baseline <laughs> i always say that no, maybe so the, they, like they are that. also improving the process we cannot tell uh, things may be changing right they are also new to online april 14 only sorry 15 the pmi mm-hmm. institute open online and here mm-hmm. on it's going to be only online so i, I don't think uh, center based exam will, mm-hmm. center based exam will slowly go down and people will love only online but right? they have options uh, yep. both the options even now yeah yeah it's there right. but people love home right you stay at your home comfortable if you have good power supply and internet connection why should i go to center like uh, some it? people will not have good internet good location maybe not comfortable at home having children and all those for them it would be useful yeah 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 that's good <laughs> Good, good. So with a great effort, let's listen to the audience if they have any questions. Yeah. So, so Abbaskar is asking, what steps did you personally take to make this like a preparation mantra? <laughs> <laughs> I have an answer, but it's a very cliche answer, but that's the truth. So, I had this approach called um, how to prepare, when to prepare, and what to prepare. Okay. so more than what to prepare people were i know people are very interested to listen what to study where to study and and all those things so my first priority was how to prepare so uh, i see lot of people asking to lot of people who are clearing like oh, what did you study what question can you get can you get i did not do that at all because your mind gets distracted a lot when you listen to some incorrect piece of information or unnecessary extra material to study i fixed my guru as mr shriram whatever he guided through like this chapter this question this portion this much test i just did that and that's it i closed my eyes and ears to any other sources of information so i would suggest this thing to everyone else um i i also get lot of questions on linkedin or uh, whatsapp or everything people asking me can you please guide can i call you and all those things i would tell them i am not a mentor i am not the right person to guide anyone i am just following instructions and blindly and that's how i did it that's my totally my personal view and then hey, samita you made my day huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's why that's the truth man that's why i say um, okay. you got to fix a guru otherwise you get distracted a lot because your okay. mind always keeps you telling that can you ask that person can you that, uh, read that piece, piece of book or that article and all those things right and instead of quantity we should go for quality for everything Sounds so, good. Perfect. Perfect answer. I got it. Thanks a lot. Yeah, one other question from Ashwin. Uh, Ashwin, I think he's the one from Australia. So late in the night. Okay. How did you manage without a paper and pen in the exam center or in the exam hall? You are took it home. Uh huh. So, uh, Shriram, I think we also talked about this over call, right? Uh, that's a problem. Uh, that's the only benefit you get when you go to the test center. Right. so i myself i was good at maths i do a lot of mental calculations <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was okay. not a problem for me <laughs> but okay. yeah if you are struggling on that point it's better to go to the center because they will yes. not allow a piece yes. of pen paper paper is becoming a big problem i'm not sure how am i going to resolve it but for now the answer is uh, they are not allowing paper pencil and uh, one other suggestion came up is uh, you can accumulate all the mathematical problems at one place and do it at one do it at once for example in this whole 200 questions you have four questions coming as mathematics probably you will mark it as a review with some answer and park it and when you come to all the question you can choose all the questions for review and do that mathematical questions all together the advantage of doing all together is you will have the collection of formula in your mind you can could do it it's one of the suggestion not sure it will work for everyone it's a point coming up anyway uh, samita is different uh, category of knowledge she has yeah for three years completing is a different category okay let's go to other question amdeep is asking or ravi is asking how many hours per day you studied oh man it's a very subjective question let's see yes yeah, so that was my when point of thing when, when i mentioned with just before uh, i was coming to that it totally as you said it totally sub, is, is subjective uh, mm. how many hours you will need might differ from the other person how many hours the other person will need it's about your target that you set for a day or a week or a month whatever is your timeline right they are uh, i think you are already providing the preparation plan according to the, your choice you are giving uh, an excel sheet with your detailed plan this day this many chapters and this many knowledge areas right 
you can stick up to that if it takes one hour for your day you are most intelligent if it takes eight hour you have to give that much of hours and there is no other answer to it yes. honestly yes hey there is one other question is it really tough to crack <laughs> yes it is <laughs> that's the direct answer otherwise we would not have got uh, this thing to register somewhere to study or go to shiram to ask can you help and all this it is tough if we could have done on our own we would not have so yep. somebody yep. is doing it's it's easy for that person somebody who is not it's tough of course i went to you so i will say it is tough <laughs> okay one more question how many mock papers you have practiced sorry what is that mock as how, how many mock exams mock. okay uh, i had subscribed to prepcast with a mm-hmm. uh, few people sharing the same Mm-hmm. so i could not complete all the mocks but uh, i did all uh, on like five I, or six you can say five. honestly five yeah mm-hmm. yeah see uh, one thing i understand with samita is uh, she is a quick learner uh, when i was giving some topic she would read and come back like it's done over so uh, i have seen this uh, road runner show i've seen it in school days <laughs> uh, road runner king king keep on running Right. she runs such a fast and she can analyze the exam faster uh, if you give her exam she write it and quickly analyze some people has a quick catching up facility the brain can process like that so uh, is a fast and all the time that helps a lot to go forward and also some people have a good reading ability once they read the sentence it will quickly process for them for me i have to read it in english it has to translate to my region language and again it has to come back sometime it will tell 404 server not found so my brain won't work faster so for me the whole four hours is needed but for some people so fast some it is a person who can read just like that so that's a message from her but anyway but everybody has to go to the same pain don't think for it will be easy exam pmp is always for exactly whatever level you are it will make you take a sip of water right the exam that's a heaviness okay. so when you said quick uh, uh, reader no when you read a novel you know the flow but when it comes to question there each and every question is different mm-hmm. so even if you are fast learner or reader um, it takes time and mm-hmm. it comes with practice how much fast you can read a question because you will be having the hold on the subject mm-hmm. if you have that hold when you read the question you get the keywords really fast mm-hmm. otherwise it will take the same amount of time as the other person is taking okay. so okay. good good that's practice here great. great i know you are spending time for us thanks for it one other point maybe i'll put it last for you uh any the specific book a reference you have to tell for the audience hey this book is good to read again um i re- <laughs> i followed um, shiram's study material uh, blindly then whenever i got a little bit doubt or wanted more more clarification uh, he suggested me to go through it so i did that's it <laughs> i did not go through any other material online offline or anywhere good good great to see a great follower like this <laughs> <laughs> thanks samita hey by the way i saw somebody putting in a comment i have a job opportunity product manager or product owner uh, uh, i should sure ignore such that. ones <laughs> a surprise right the link for somebody Come is putting there a job opportunity can you contact oh my goodness that's funny <laughs> i actually i think i pinged you for such things and also somebody pinged me saying this is not a great achievement you did i had to block that person <laughs> i did not want any negativity so i just plugged we, we always have this bottom 80% top 20% 2% right yeah. the people who can't achieve they start making fun of the people who achieve it uh, so, so don't get uh, worried about those stuff i know what it oh, is i don't care <laughs> <laughs> hey uh, how many calculation questions you got i think it should be a bit less there uh yes uh, somebody has suggested before i joined right he said that not much cost calculations were coming it's the, it was the same for me mm-hmm. it was the same for me and it uh, again the same pattern uh, so the last person had told that i think you also suggested to read uh, risk and change more yep and that was the same all over the question paper it was about oh, decision right. making on risk and change good 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 samita uh, i know on a sunday evening pulling you to the call <laughs> it's a little tough and uh, thanks a lot for taking this effort i know you're you. encouraging your spouse also to go for this exam so. <laughs> uh unbelievably <laughs> okay let him also get success there good wishes for him and yes. good wishes for his success i always Thank tell you. that one one part of life is getting certified or a degree the next part is materializing it so yeah. now we have to start materializing the organization where we are 
and also start marketing in the outside world. And uh, we shouldn't expect everything to happen overnight. But when there is a mission, when there is a goal, we are sure we're going to move in that direction. So I'm so proud to see you who cleared the exam in a very short timeline and uh, with the clarity and about target in all the area. It's not easy. It, it takes a lot of effort. So, so much proud with you. And uh, thanks for being Thank with you. us. And thanks for making us proud. Thank right. you. Good. All the best, Amita. Thanks for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye, everyone. Great. Thank you. So that's Amita who cleared in a short duration with the great stuff with her. Great. Okay. Uh, everyone wants to be a CEO. That's great. <laughs> Thanks all and uh, for listening to her. I know a lot of questions coming up. Uh, of course, uh, um, I was able to give her 10 minutes of time. You know, she to have a lot of busy stuff and she came over to help us. I know some other questions she clarified. Certain questions I or my team will try to help you out. Good. Fantastic. I know we beat at the time a little high. So what we'll do is we'll make it as a five minutes break instead of 10 minutes break. Usually it will be 10 minutes since we beat up the time there. We'll take five minutes break and come back. So quickly take a break five minutes and come back for a workshop. Get ready with energy. We'll work out. Stay there and come back.
Okay, I believe most of you back there. So let's get good, good, good. I can see a lot of questions about the mock exams. Don't worry about it. That team would be sharing a lot of mock exams questions. And uh, that was asking a question about the talent triangle. See, talent triangle, I was talking about three factors. One is business and uh, strategy, which I spoke about now portfolio management, where you have a business strategy in the organization. And I have two sides. One is on um, the talking about the technical factors, where you learned about how do you do schedule management, cost management, you do the planning stuff, right? How do you do the costing, scheduling factor? That's going to be there. Other side, I spoke about the leadership factor. So this three goes as a talent triangle. Leadership, you have a lot of factors. Uh, by the way, you, you asked about the example. I don't think we have to go for the example here. It's all the concepts, right? Leadership is a concept. Technical knowledge is a concept. And the bottom line is a strategy is a concept. This concept will be implemented in various dimensions. You can start seeing that in the books. A whole book of PMP is going to come with a lot of examples covering these areas, right? Hope that you got that information. If you're good there. Okay, good. Uh, let's move on. Um, I know we have time running up today, a little high. <laughs> I know this uh, Saturday, Sunday, sometimes Sunday, we bring people to give knowledge. By the way, was it a, was it a good uh, information as you have a person who cleared the exam speaking out directly? Was it useful for you? Yeah, it's useful, right? I know it, it costs time as we have to cover up some subject as well. But again, I feel this is important. Subject you can read anytime in the books also. But again, getting this kind of knowledge is very vital for you. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, also motivating, that's right. Now the time is get to the work. Now to the work, what I have to do is I have to bring up some stuff for you all. I have to show you something. I have to explain you some concept. So stay with me, observe me. And I'm going to share something on the screen. Okay. Okay, here it goes. Uh, by the way, kindly confirm you're able to see a screen and it is a, it's a, it's a image of some project. Are you able to see that? Very good. Now, what we are going to do today. First of all, we're going to divide this team. We're going to divide this team by six teams. We have around 70 plus people here. We're going to divide into six teams. And the six teams, what you're going to do is, you're going to read through this project. It is a project, Mumbai Juhu Toll Booth. Okay. People outside of India, Mumbai is one of the city in India. Some of you are aware of the city called Mumbai. I'm just talking about a highway to make up in this particular city. And uh, expectation is the store road path is going to be 1,000 kilometers, around 621 miles. And five toll booths to be installed, including the construction and the installation, both going to come. So you're going to have a knowledge of a construction. You're going to have a knowledge of installation also. What is installation? The booths will have advanced infrastructure and facilities like automated toll collection using RFID tags. You know RFID tags, they sit into the uh, system and it goes to the car and they can track with the satellite device, right? Which will reduce the long queues at toll booths, also helping vehicle theft detection. It's a high level of scope. Imagine this as an SOW, statement of work comes to you. Now, it has both the way. You should have knowledge on construction, you should have knowledge on computers, you should have knowledge on infrastructure, you should have knowledge on how government segment works, you should have knowledge on EEF, OPA, right? Enterprise factors. I'm not expecting everything to come here, but I want to kickstart it from today. So we're going to journey. It's going to be a journey for going forward weeks. With this, we're going to play with your knowledge, how it's going to work. Right. Now, if you see here in the light color font, stakeholders, vehicle owners, and administrators, I just given two only. If you want, you can add more. You're going to do that. High level budget, delivery date, and high level risk. Assume this as an SOW. Now, what is the action for you? As a project managers, I didn't say manager, managers. It means 10 to 15 people going to be in a group. You all going to discuss to one another. There should not be any ego. There should not be any clash. There should not be domination. You should use your interpersonal skills to listen to people, get suggestions, give opinions. That's very vital. After doing that, you have to bring few points. What are they? Bring out this uh, internal and external risk in the project. 
right? Uh, maybe there is a point here. Bring out internal and external risk. Bring out internal and external risk in this particular project. List down vendors' involvement in this project. What are the vendors can come up? Draft a few quality parameters for this project. What do you mean by quality in this parameter? These three areas you have to fill. If you fill five items, I'm fine. If you fill only two, only one, still it's okay. No point here. Since we are starting on the first day, there is no right answer here. In management, there is no right answer. Each team can bring different, different answers. So what is going to happen? Each team will get a sheet like this. If you see breakout one, breakout two, breakout three, breakout six, all. And everybody has a right option, I mean edit option. Rahul, who is going to share the link to you once you get into the group. You will go to the group. Once you go to the group, the sheet will be shared with you. And you have to start doing this one. Did I explain it properly? Have you got the details? Okay, good, good, good. With this, now let's get inside. Make yourself available with a mic. Make yourself available with a webcam. I kindly request everybody to come on the camp. It's very important because face-to-face -face communication is very important. And there is no point in doing a hidden way. If you don't have a camera, it's not working, that's fine. But if it's working, please make it available. So people have to see one another. It's very, very, very important. Face-to-face -face communication is very important. Um, Samia, to your question, can be. I leave it to the option. Samia is asking, does vendor influence government? Can be anything. I don't want to define any answer here. Even when you come back, I'm not going to tell you this is the right answer. I want you to see your brain thought process. As a leader, as a manager, how your brain is thinking. That's the intention here. There is no right, there is no wrong. So that's clear. Shall we do this game? Good, good. Thanks for confirming. Let us get inside. I'm going to create a room now. Uh, Rahul, kindly have the links so that we can post to them. I'm going to give this room 20 minutes time where you have to do this work and come out. I'm going to set a timeline for you. I'm going to set 20 minutes. Done. Done. And grace time 15 seconds. Okay, all the best. Do well.
Okay, good to see you all back. Ah, big effort. Was it a big effort? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. In 20 minutes, you have to plan for something, a 10 million project, worth of project. Is it an easy show? Not an easy show. It's really a big tough. Uh, <clears throat> did you found an uh, interesting discussion happened when you talk to other people? Uh, some points agreed, some points disagreed, right? And it's a kind of uh, sometimes uh, more heated arguments also starts. Oh, this guy is not listening to me. Or at least you speak a very politely by face, but your brain says, what a crap this guy is saying. <laughs> this all happens in project management. Okay. Most of the time, the project, most of the technical stuff, the interaction is the place where it fails. Actual project may not fail. The interaction fails. The kind of ego, kind of misunderstanding, kind of wrong word choices, which makes the project misunderstood. And that puts a document in the wrong way. A wrong document leads your execution team to do something wrong. But today, when I was walking to some of the teams here, it was so interesting to see very productive discussions are happening. I feel many have that domain expertise. Some people are speaking more technical terms about certain factors. It was so interesting to watch. So anyway, it's a good show here. And first of all, thanks and congratulations for the great show here for 20 minutes. You did the job. I know some of you are very active, some of you are very passive. You're watching out. Now, what we're going to do is we have six teams here. We are going to listen every team two minutes, totally 12 minutes we're going to spend now. In this 12 minutes, every minute, every team will get a two minutes time. Anyone from your team talk about what really interesting happened, what area you guys had a fight. What interesting happened, what areas you have fight, right? When I have fight, a constructive fight. The way, hey, this is right, this is wrong. In the risk, there could be some discussion. Quality, some to be discussion. I don't expect you to talk whole project now. It is impossible in this shorter timeline. Whereas why I put these three topics is to make you to think in that dimension and talk some perspective of the project. That's the aim of it. Shall we go to the segment where you will talk about the project? Very good, very good. I can see a lot of charts running here. Some say it was a mess. Was opinion, surely agree and disagree. Yes, it is interesting, quick one, really good collaboration, communication fails. <laughs> okay, 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 lots of stuff. I, I expect this. One good thing here is you guys won't pull your shirt because each one's sitting far away. Imagine this happens in a classroom. <laughs> Chances are there. somebody will give a punch, listen to me. <laughs> Okay, anyway, good there. So what we do is, uh, quickly I'll bring up the screen. Um, because it's for the first time you all meeting, so it's expected. So don't feel that uh, bad. Uh, I'm trying to uh, bring up the interpersonal skills. Uh, this program is not only for PMD certification, it is to bring best of your interpersonal skills, emotional balance, if you're aware of that. Good job. So what we do is, uh, we'll start with the team six. So team six here, um, I know the project description, everybody knows this. I'll once read it for all the project now. So you're going to construct and install uh, five toll booths in a big highway, which is covering around 621 miles or 1000 kilometers. Expectation is the booth should have advanced infrastructure. When I say infrastructure, could be of um, a construction, could be of something on technical factors, both the way and also automated RF IDs. Uh, why I brought that is, I want the technical guys to talk about that. A architect talks about that. A construction person talks about it. A legal person talks about it. I want all these people to make a discussion. This one project can bring most of you here into one place. You need a HR, you need a recruitment, you need a finance team, you need everybody here. Pharma team may not have a role here. If you're in pharma, you may not see any role here, but if you have to think from their dimension. That's a point here. So with this, we will get there. So every team is going to get two minutes. So somebody from team six, please pick up yourself, volunteer yourself. Nothing wrong, nothing right. You can talk about what good thing happened and which area there was a good argument. Please go ahead. Anybody was saying team six? Yeah, hello, Nitesh here. Yes, please. Hello, uh, so uh, actually- driver, 
चलिए वी वर हैविंग टाइम बट मैं ये बताइए कुछ खाने के लिए है थोड़ा आपके पास आ प्रतीश कैन यू गेट अ न्यू या प्लीज या गो अहेड वी वी वर हैविंग मोर कंस्टेंट ऑन इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स टू एनालाइज दैट बी लिटिल लाउडर लिटिल लाउडर या uh we were more discussion on internal and external factor means uh, risk analysis which okay. was, which would be the list which should uh, come in those area and okay. then there were more discussion on quality part that means uh, which are the factors which will impact the quality we should list it down so uh, this were the area where we are good to are good to each other and then come to the conclusion yeah this should be there okay yeah. okay sounds good um any more points from this team telling that hey guys you know what this area we had little trouble uh, we had kind of push and pull of the thought process anything happened in this team yeah this happens surely like uh, uh in quality backup the uh, some backup recovery plan is there uh, that is mentioned in quality most of them were disagreed for that that it should not be like backup recovery plan or in quality because in fact it was a dis- disaster recovery plan which we mentioned uh, okay. however it was a re- uh, renamed as backup method okay okay got got you got you okay that sounds good i'm just running through the points here uh, resource availability okay there is a risk you found it here uh, software technical failures casualty um, physical risk okay okay so what do you mean by physical risk can somebody talk about that so means some threat uh, you know what like uh, let's say somebody has stolen the devices from the uh, you know or somebody hacked the uh, entire software or something like that so that sort of all together okay okay so you feel that's a part of internal risk mhm okay. yes we we feel because it's in, it's something which is which, which is directly impacting us uh whereas external side we find out something like let's say government revise some rules and uh-huh. regulations uh-huh. whereas something like uh, you know some climate changes heavy rain is happening on which we are not able to manage then uh, you know license constraints getting revised or something like that traffic if we are at the mumbai side because we are focusing on mumbai so traffic is sometimes you know very unpredictable there okay so that sort of thing okay sounds pretty good thanks for the explanation staffing firm software vendors contractors government state and central very good very good okay software quality uat assurance inspection testing okay i thought um, okay i thought some numbers also will come here when you say parameters for this project oh, yeah. Uh, uh, because without number you cannot do that but anyway it's, it's a good start to do anyway that's a good show here a uh, good round of applause for the team 6 or breakout room 6 i was there for a couple of minutes in your room i found more constructive discussions also happened there i was so happy to listen to many of you there good job appreciate it within this 20 minutes good job happened there so now what we do is we we'll jump to other room to see what they have done i'm going to room number 2 so people worked in the breakout room uh, room number 2 um can someone step up and talk about what good thing happened and what is the area you had a kind of discussions uh yeah shri shri ram so yes. we uh, you know discussed on uh, both the internal and uh, external points and in our opinion uh, you know uh, given the situation that you know this road needs to be this uh, needs to be built on in mumbai which is a heavy rain area so we focused on that that was the main thing the other was the local residents you know the the coordination awareness education of local yeah. residents because okay. they will be impacted uh the other was availability of rfids because that is external something you know uh, we don't have mastery in that uh, which was uh, one of the risk then the approval from uh, green tribunal because you know this uh, uh, the the road or uh, the the toll will be uh, touching uh, those uh, you know the, the green uh, points or even the uh, coastal areas so that approval is no, itself is a one- Big one ask here. One ask here. Uh, green tribunal approval should have happened before the highway should have, has been done. Now what you are doing is on the top of the highway you are going to put a toll. Do we need to worry about it? 
Uh, yes, because you know what happens is that green tribunal. If tomorrow something comes up uh, on you know there is some uh, somebody questions anything, you know uh, on the toll, uh, there may come they, it may come up because you are uh, you you will be putting some extra structure on uh, the Got toll. You. Got so it's not you know toll we will be you know modifying something in the toll. Fine. Got you. Yeah. Uh, what's the area? And then the political environment. Yep. Yep. Got it. Uh, Dinesh and team, uh, quick ask. Which area there was a kind of uh, kind of a push and pull happened? Some heated argument. Which area? Uh, so political is one area we have put that. But, uh, you know, because there was a lot of uh, discussion on whether political should be there or not. Because we <laughs> said that it's given the, you know, it's already a given area. But we have still put that because, you know, uh, in this kind of projects, uh, there will be a lot of political, uh, you know, the, the adjustments you will have to do. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Of the... Makes sense. Yeah. And this is uh, Ganesh from four point, uh, team four, uh, breakout room too, right? So one other additional thing that we argued was, should we, how, how long should we step in uh, or spend for each, each, each uh, question? Uh -huh. So we spent a lot of time in the first one. Should we go to the next one, skip to the next one? Or how long? <laughs> What what should be the quantity of time spent for each thing? We have some arguments there. Got you, got you. See, you know what? This is the first time you all meeting one another. It is not easy to collaborate. Uh, I can also see some frustration happening for some of you. This is how the reality will be there. One day they'll ask you, Shriram, can you fly to this country? You have to talk to a couple of managers, make some decision, come back. Two days of plan. I have done like that. I have gone to US a couple of times. It will be only now. Two days, three days, you have to fly, be there, and talk and come back. You will be already exhausted with the travel. But you have to throw your ideas, get their ideas, get the approval, and come back. And uh, it's not easy. Within two, three days, you have to plan. But that's a leadership role. If anybody question about a CEO, if anybody question about the managers at a high level, they have that kind of capability to handle it. And that's called emotional intelligence and balance. Uh, how the position is, how composed you are. Anyway, I found that good component of discussion happened there. Thanks for the points there. Okay, I'm just going through this construction material, RFID tag, camera, computer hardware vendor, resource vendor. Okay, I think resource will cover most of the stuff under this, like human material equipment. Construction quality for two years, data backup availability 60 days. Okay, some numbers started coming up. <laughs> very good, very good. Good discussion. Uh, fine, any other points from the team to here? If not, I think we have to go to the next team. Good. Uh, let's come to uh, team five. Okay, I'm going to team five. Uh, who is representing from team five? You can pick up some topic and talk about what's happening at your side. Yep, anybody from team five? Toll, fee, amount, resource allocation, RFID, IT infrastructure, installation. Most of them, same points. Government authorities, weather forecast, current situation of Current situation of location, economic, economy, toll booth, vehicle not having RFID. Hey, can someone talk about this current situation of location? What is this talking here? Maybe team five, somebody can talk about it. I should have uh, Ravi. Hey Ravi, yeah, please go. Yeah, uh, I think uh, it's a typo over there. It should be the current situation uh, as, as we say, like, for example, if we talk of the current situation, the COVID is there. So oh. we, are, we are not able to work in this particular scenario. Okay. So, so, so that could be one of, that's one of the basic of one of, okay. so, Yeah. So I would say uh, we, we, ours was more of a global uh, team in a sense, because we had people uh, who were from different geographical uh, regions. So okay. it was more of, it was more of understanding the risks in what we feel this particular thing is a risk and what they perceive it as it's a risk or it's the external risk or the internal risk. So, yeah, that was one of the, re, uh, one of the uh, points. Point. Yeah, I was. I would say we had a bit of Perfect. not not kind of argument. I would say it was more of understanding. Maybe okay. uh, maybe the team, maybe the people from other countries, they have a different setup of this, or they were not able to understand. Okay, this is Mumbai. How is this like? What is uh -huh. RFID? So, so, so uh -huh. kind of so for the kind of that cohesion uh, or uh, conflict. I think that's a constructive discussion. What you say is yeah. right. Uh, see, this is how the real project is, right? You have people from different geographical location, uh, yeah. making them understanding and bringing them to the reality. It's a big art. 
Uh, you cannot tell them, no, no, that won't work. Rather tell them and explain them, hey, this is how it will work at times. But now you know what? When the people come from different geographical location, their ideas will be eye-opener. Yeah, you definitely. Put- we would have not thought in that dimension at all. When a person speaks from different um, uh, location and different dimension, it looks, wow. See, many a time, we will think it's the right answer what we're giving. A kid with the five years old will come and tell that, that do this way, it'll work. It'll be, wow, it's amazing, man. So that's how it is. Anyway, I like your way you say that uh, constructive discussion. Good there. Good there. And uh, how about the quality f- uh, factors? Durability of RFID scanner cameras. Okay, I like the word durability. Uh, but again, would you like to map it with some Six Sigma? Would you like to go with some uh, parameters? Yeah, or- kind of. Because see, the thing is, when we are working on a we are working on a stretch which is uh, totally busy with traffic, we need to make sure that we have quality products installed over there. Got it. Uh, Got we, it. Have, we have uh, a good backup also in place. So that, okay. that's why what we are thought of makes sense i can see iso standards coming up very good debt reduction from one very good good then great effort good applause to the team number five good job i can see the constructive work happened here so we have seen team six five and team two let's go to team one here let's listen to their dimension i can see a lot of items in this place let's listen to them team one can someone talk about what is a good thing and talk about something on interesting discussion Inadequate testing of RFT provider. Anybody from team one can pick up. Collecting the requirements. Hey, do okay. you, collecting requirements is a risk. Okay. Here, uh, Shriram, this is Mohan here. Collecting Mohan. the requirements, maybe here, uh, if you are not collecting proper requirements, that will, I know, end up in a mm-hmm. risk. Means mm-hmm. uh, from the stakeholders, while you are collecting the requirements, you are not clear. Maybe it may come under communication as well. Okay. So that would be a risk. Okay. Okay. But actually, you know what? Uh, the requirement uh, collection is part of your whole project management. Of course, I agree that missing is a risk, but what is the mitigation plan for it? That's asked. They'll go for it. When we, when we go for risk management, the subject probably will bring this topic. I like the way you put there. I mean, the whole team. Uh, when we go to this one, please remind me, we'll talk about this. Good sure, 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 sure. Uh, go ahead on a topic which you felt really interesting. You guys had a push and pull and kind of discussion. Okay, to be frank, you know, one thing I observed is uh, with my Six Sigma project experience as well. Uh-huh. Uh, what I followed is when team was giving the inputs, I started listing down everything. Okay. And even others appreciated that. And at the end, if you think one or other is overlapping and uh-huh. we asked team saying, okay, do you think this item still remains? Say, for example, I forgot the term and, and one of the quality standards or something. I, I mm-hmm. forgot, maybe team can help. So mm-hmm. where we asked, do you really require these items to be kept here? Mm-hmm. So and one item, budget allocations, team said budget allocations is not required. Then we allowed the person given the idea to explain it. So okay. that they explained how budget allocations will form as a risk. So say, okay. for example, out of each location, how much I have to give. So total erection cannot be same in all the five locations. So for what reasons we have to allocate more money for a location? Got you. Got so you. That way, it was very collaborative discussion, to be frank. Amazing. Good, Mohan. You put it in the right way. I can see some sort of uh, leadership happened there and things were uh, going the right way. Good. I appreciate the team one. Good job. Thanks for the amazing effort. Hey, by the way, for, to everyone, I'm shooting a little extra time. It's a 10 or seven here. That is, uh, maybe I'll shoot another five to eight minutes. I believe it's good for you. Just stay for another five, six minutes. We should be able to wrap it up. Right. Let's close. Let's listen to a couple of more teams also. Then we'll close it up. Okay, good. Uh, let's go to team four. Uh, team four. So what's happening? Um, big stories are here. Let's listen from team four. Go, no go should be well monitored. What is this? Anybody want to talk about it? It's a phase game you're talking about it. Go, no, go. Anybody? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Yeah, this is from from my side. Uh Uh, So when the vehicle come and approaches the toll, so in the toll, there should be a proper indication if it is manually controlled, Uh then uh, the person can go in the right direction. And second is uh, they have mentioned it as an automated. So okay. the motor controls will be well aligned with the communication and the other controls within the toll booth. 
okay so okay. that a customer should not stuck there okay okay good. so there good. should be a peri- periodic calibrations right right okay okay uh, i like this part man very important which is not happening in many places okay all right cctv good lot of stuff interesting in this team i can see this was availability camera i think some domain expert are in this group who already knows about some factor or somebody knows a lot of pain about this project very good very good so what kind of a pull and push happened here any interesting discussion happened okay not much uh, yeah please Actually, so when I hear, so our, uh, I mean, the pull and push happen mostly in the risk. We believe risk is a factor that uh, can be effective, uh, have a large impact on the uh, project and the company as well. And uh-huh. especially in the external risk. So where uh, things can be happen wrong and uh, it's not in our control, especially it's something and somewhere happen uh, outside of the project and outside of the um, company. So especially for the weather and things like that. So mm-hmm. most of our concentration and pull pull happen or everything happen in the uh, risk. And uh, from there, it's a smooth run. Perfect. Perfect. Great. Thanks for it. I appreciate it. Let's move to the last team, the team which we want to discuss, team three. Team three, um, I believe you've written a lot of stuff here. Um, let's listen through. I feel a lot of stuff in quality. Somebody from quality management in this team, I believe. Okay, what is the interesting factor after happened in this team? Can we listen from team three? Anybody going to talk about it? I can see weather forecast. Row from local community. What is this? Team three, anyone? All team three on which? Uh, it should be opposition from the local community, basically. Uh, so okay. here it means like if we are planning and everything has been approved by a government, then the local people who are staying to the nearby area, they are not okay and they will oppose and maybe uh, they will protest. So this Perfect. can be external. Perfect. Can we call them as a negative stakeholders? Yes, it is. Yeah. In fact, when you go to stakeholder management, we will talk about this. This is called negative stakeholders who are not happy with what we are doing. So they can turn your project upside down. They make a procession there and they go for a fasting and they sit on the road and are not allowed to do that. Your project can be halted. Now, how to handle them? That's a big part. We'll do that part. Anyway, so what the point of putting all this structural information here is to think you in a multiple dimension. So good that you're going to talk about this factor. I like it. Okay, any other push and pull happen in this team? Any area? Nothing much like we are stuck with the quality because maybe it could be a reason we have not covered yet. A lot of items, you see that verification of RFD, CCTV. That's the reason a lot of detail because everyone was putting the point and uh, we are just noting down. Yeah, I can see one more one more hyphen is here. Get to write before the time cut over. <laughs> Okay, good. Okay, that's a good job. Um, thanks for all for the participation. First of all, I want to give a big thanks to most of you here. We did a great job. And I know it's the first time you're doing it and uh, it'll be a little embarrassing for some of you. Oh my goodness, a lot of stuff there. Uh, right. Shriram, uh, I have one query here. Uh, yes. Uh, okay, so the thing is that, you know, when I'm discussing the with my team about the quality, like, you know, uh, I suggested them that we can use the benchmark as well because you yeah. know when generally I'm creating my project there I have set up yeah. the benchmark that the server will be this, this should be AWS server, this should be this. So yeah. uh, can we include that in quality parameter or not? Yeah, it's part of the quality parameter. You can in- include it from your lessons learned, which will be from mm-hmm. your, you can get them, you can get the parameters from that. It's not only the name will be there, you'll have the parameters. So last project we followed Six Sigma yeah. quality. And that's a number yes. which we maintain that you can put there and tell them this is what we can target for this project. Maybe we can improve or we can decide. Yes. Good. Okay. Good so we can we can add that, correct? Yes, yes, we can add that. Okay. Because you know, even we are uh, making sure that the website should be loaded in this much specific time. So we okay. are pretty precise with that when we talk about the quality. Perfect. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Good, good guys. Uh, first of all, good wishes to every one of you uh, because yesterday we tried something on um, how to use a breakout room for you to get an intro. You all did it. And today you tried something on the project. Don't get frustrated or down if you can't do too much on this day. It's okay. 
this is going to be a habit of every week every week on a sunday 9 to 9:45 you will have workshop session whatever we learn on that week or the previous week we'll accumulate it we will do some project work we will take kind of a project which i showed you now in that you will start implementing stakeholder management communication wbs you will do you will do schedule management you will do risk management we are going to do a lot of stuff here on we'll go start going a little deep inside what is size only a high level the basics of it now you have to start doing work to me little deep inside where you have to work together right so it's a good effort uh this two days we have covered certain factors i think i explained all these factors already these are the factors we covered in the last two days so what is going to come up in the next two days that's you have to know right so next two days we are going to have something called stakeholder management before that good job you completed something really great so you have to be proud and happy about what you did so next we are going to cover is a stakeholder management the next week it will start with stakeholder management we will understand how the stakeholders will work together and with the stakeholder management we will also learn something called communication management i'll tell you these two are very very important projects don't miss your classes on next week because i'll tell you most of your promotion on a job growth is stuck because of this area of course i like scope i like schedule i like cost but beyond this i'll tell you if you're not growing up well if you're not having proper job opportunities it may be the reason you are yet to understand how to handle the people you are yet to understand how to improve the effective communication if you do this two both i'll tell you in the top most industry so next week is going to be a very interesting week with some workshop going to happen right so i believe this uh, week went really well for some of you to be a high load of information for some of you to be very basic because you may be from a big institutes you may be from a big reputed company you would have learned more than what i'm explaining you may feel it's okay sir i'm it's fine for some of it be very heavy loaded don't get worried about it we'll start working out step by step so more assignments are going to come up tomorrow i'll share some more assignments you have to write you have to read you have to work with me right so quickly before you all wind up i would like to see every one of you and say bye to you all if you don't mind you can come up on the camera let's meet each other because we going to have one week gap to meet every one of you okay i can see much people here good there everybody look very smart and pretty some of you mm -hmm. feel, some of you look as like tired listening to this program hopefully i believe this uh, two days was correct for you have you think that from the friday till now have you matured something yes yeah. okay fine uh, yes. of course of course some philosophy i would have injected if you don't like it just ignore it because some people don't like philosophy they hate their parents when they talk about philosophy ignore it but i took it as a process of adding it it may add value to some people don't like it just ignore it but some twice we started with the basics of management and leadership pmp is a big portion we have to learn in a very systematic way that will help you to connect to the project so we have tried the max to start giving up here and this is only a start next four, five weeks it's going to be so deep and wide you know a lot of stuff i can see a lot of smile ganesh is smiling to the core i'm so happy and excited it's such a thing there <laughs> <laughs> good there good there good to see you all and i'm so happy to see you all and we are trying to give the max best of quality output to you if you feel anything more can be added or anything can be improved you are free to write back to support@shrilearning.com we will give more contribution to you right uh, more than getting pmp certified i want to see you all shine in your professional life shine in your personal life so let's bring up the good habits and attitudes which i was sharing the other day always have a goal always have a focus to attain the focus have a good character good competence a good character without competency will not help you great competency with attitude will not help you so balance between character and competence is very important let's start improve people look at you feel you as that's a person i have to follow sounds good okay <laughs> perfect have a great weekend completed and then monday actively i know nobody is going to go office all are stuck at home stay home but do little bit exercise read some good books progress in life your success journey started this weekend thanks for joining here thank you so much